Pop. Pop. Hello. Sometimes you really don't know how to start the stream. You don't know what to say first besides hello. And uh, yeah, hence why I make noises half the time before <laughs> turning the camera over. How you doing? Happy Tuesday. Weird to not be here on a Monday, but you know what? We're going to get used to it. We're going to get used to it because Mondays are not working. Mondays are not working anymore for me, and they're really not working for you either by the look of things. So we're just going to not do Mondays for a bit, and uh, yeah, that'll be okay. Tuesdays will take the place of that for the time being. We'll see. Just make a lawnmower noise. Yeah, I don't know if I know how to make that noise. I don't think I know how to do that. But anyway, thank you for the suggestion, Squid. It's good to see you. Anyway, Kyle, good job waiting till the Game Boy opened to say hi again for the 80th time. How dare you? Just kidding. It doesn't matter. It's fine. I just like pushing you. Rox, how you doing? You never you never cause issues. I don't know why you said you're ruining things or whatever. Stop that. <laughs> Stefan, I hope you're doing well out there. Possum, I understand that you can't be here. Thank you for always stopping in for a second, saying that, and leaving. Um, we miss you very much. We hope that you're doing well. And yeah, please, good, good luck with work and everything else that you have to do. Uh, tell everyone I love them. Okay, everybody, Possum loves you, just so you know. Just so you know. I told. Beesh, enjoy your lurk. I hope things are going good. I tend to chat to no one. That's some BS, Rox. You chat to everybody. I don't know what you're talking about. Ames, good job redeeming first, by the way. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. I was 0.2 seconds early. I tried to hurry, Kyle, because I knew you would be there. I knew you would be there. And right as I was about to click the button, the message appeared, and I was like... Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just funny. Because it looks weird when I open up the screen and there's like 80 messages there. It'd be different if there was like a bunch of them, but when there's just like one message, it's like, oh, it's not quite perfect. Not quite perfect. It's almost there. But anyway, I hope your weekends have been good, though. I hope your Mondays were good. I don't, I'm, I, it's weird that I don't get a chance to see you on a Monday because that's usually how I start my week or in some fashion, at least. I don't, I don't know. But let me know. How are things going for you? Things are lovely still lurking. That's good. I'm glad. Thank you very much, Beesh. Have a great time. Um, I tend to chat to no one at times we've been doing yeah Jesus Christ the time I was recording and then Rox decided that she was going to talk in the chat so it appeared on my screen while recording and I had to delete that part of the recording uh, next time lots of early messages there you go Kyle that's the way that's the way but Rox I hope you're doing well Kyle I hope you are as well um, how many times can I say well that's my favorite word all the time what is the plan for today? It's just a, a little cheeky mental health talk. Um, do I expect ever for these to be huge in any sort of fashion? No. Do I expect them to be extremely um, well thought out and all that stuff? No. It's just a chat. It's just like if you were talking to a friend uh, and a topic came up. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about you guys voted on it in the Discord, which, by the way, thank you if you did vote on the poll. We had a couple people who did that. Um, we are going to be talking about anxiety and academics today, whether of any level. It could be homeschool, Hello, it could be uh, private school, it could be college, you. it could be anything. We're going to have a long little bit of a conversation on that stuff, and hopefully it'll be great. Speaking of great, hi, how's it going, GoatWiz? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. And Raiders, how are you doing? Good to see you. We just started. We just started. Hello. How was your stream? How was your stream? What art were you doing, Goat? And did you put up a uh, picture of it? Because I would love to see it. If... If there's a way to see a picture of it, I would love to see it. GoatWiz is a phenomenal, phenomenal artist and a very, very chill dude. If you are not following him for some strange reason, please Whoa, follow no that shout-out command and go over there and follow. Annie, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Eustachios, it's good to see you, by the way. I hope you're well. And Mary, always love you. Commander, hello. As if by magic, a herd of goats appeared and trampled me, which is what is needed on my Tuesday. I need to be trampled by a bunch of go goats. Lime, you're looking particularly fresh fresh and citrusy. I can't even say it, but thank you so much. Had to take the opportunity. No, you didn't have to at all. Thank you so much, though. I really appreciate it. GoatWiz is one of my favorite, favorite people and favorite streamers, and I do not say that lightly. Um, it is the easiest place for me to relax and hang out in, in the morning when um, he is streaming. But however, apparently he was doing an afternoon one today for my afternoon and his, his evening. Um, so I wish I could have seen that. But I can't wait to check out what the heck you did on your VOD and see what art you are creating. I would love to know. Yusakios, it's going well. How are you doing? How are you doing? I hope things are going good for you, and happy Tuesday to you. Ducks, good to see you. Hugs to you. You've been doing botanical paintings. Oh, for, for Sprouttober. Right, 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 right. Right. I've, I've liked a couple pictures off of Instagram lately, and I've been really loving what I'm seeing, so please keep it up. Gotta keep the scurvy away with the daily dose of lime. It's true, Sam. It's true. Thank you so much. It's good to see you, too. How you been? If you don't know me, by the way, feel free to say hello. We are happy to greet you and welcome you in. My name is Lime, uh, like the fruit, and yes, I do a lot of random things here, including a mental health chat. Today, we're going to do a mental health chat. Um, 
like I was talking to chat before, it's going to be a discussion as if you were having it with a friend just in daily life. It's not super well thought out, not super detailed or anything like that. We'll just go where the conversation goes. Uh, and it's going to be on the topic of anxiety in school. So any sort of academic environment. This could mean homeschooling, private school, colleges, anything of the sort. Uh, a lot of the things that will come up will have to do with my experiences because it's easiest for me to share my experiences. Um, but you are welcome and please urged to share whatever you are comfortable sharing. Uh, and give me your ideas. I would love to know how you feel about the topic of anxiety in school because it's such a wide and broad thing. But GoatWiz and Raiders, if you need to get off of Twitch for the day, I completely understand. No pressure to hang around. And please take care of yourselves, okay? Good source of vitamin C. I try my best to be a good source of many things, but vitamin C is the biggest one, of course. Uh, but yeah, 17 people voted for this topic. So thank you. If you are the 17 people who voted on that in the Discord, thank you so much. Polls are kind of hard to get people to see sometimes, so it's nice to see some, uh, some feedback in there. And I hope that you get something out of today. Or maybe just learn something you didn't know before. Um, with that being said, I am going to turn down the uh, other music. Get that the heck out of here. Goodbye. And I'm going to turn on some lo-fi stuff in the background. If for some reason this is really loud or quiet or whatever, feel free to let me know. And I will adjust the volume accordingly, okay? Um, first, I have to find my mouse because it's hidden. It's somewhere over there. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Nice, <laughs> nice name color. Very, very similar to ducks and squid. The, both of them are very, very similar. But it's good to see you all. I hope things are going good. Music's going to take a second to get up and running, and then you can let me know if it's good volume or too quiet or anything like that. Should be kind of lo-fi. D-Stream and Lick sounds good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it again, GoatWiz. Thank you for the raid, and I hope that you take very good care of yourself. I'm very proud of you for getting through the day, like always, and much love to you. Okay. Is that volume good or is it too quiet? Let me know. Too quiet, too loud, any of the, any of the sort. Um, but to get started, there's one thing that pops into my mind very clearly whenever we discuss this, this type of topic. And it's really important to acknowledge, especially in college and especially in America specifically, um, with school, a lot of the problems that stem from academia and, and the anxiety that you find in it can all come back to this idea of competition in my eyes. This is this is strictly my opinion. Um, competition is such a prevalent thing from any sort of schooling. You don't have to be doing a music program like me. You don't have to be doing uh, a sport in school or anything like that. Like specifically, you can find competition everywhere. Music sounds good level. Good. Glad to hear it. And with that competition comes a lot of extra pressure for yourself, pressure from the teachers, pressure from uh, students and, you know, colleagues or any sort of anyone you find in the institution. Um, and what I find a lot of the times that bears me down is the competition with myself. Most of all, uh, we had a talk about self-reflection about two weeks or so ago, which was a very, very nice discussion. Thank you again for having it with me. Um, and the dangers of reflecting too much or not reflecting enough on yourself uh, and what that can do for yourself. School came up a lot in that conversation too, for me specifically. Um, and performance anxiety came up a lot as well. And all of it kind of comes down to this pressure of the school system to be the best that you can be. But at the same time, it's not really that. Like that's the good way to view it. The good way to view it is you want to be better over time and be the best that you personally can be. A lot of people take that topic and instead flip it around to be, I got to be the best out of everybody here. I got to have the best grades. I got to perform better than other people. I have got to be the top of the class, you know, or else people won't notice me. People won't take uh, notice of the work that I'm putting in. Um, and that as a basis for this discussion, I think is very, very important to note from any level. You know, this is college that I'm talking about, but it's the same thing in like kindergarten. You want to be the first person to, I don't know, build the Lego tower. So your teacher says good job and gives you like the prize, which is like an apple or something. I don't know. Um, or you want to be the fastest kid at recess to prove that you are, are the strongest and to prove that you are the quickest. Like there's a lot of competition that comes with school naturally, you know. Biggest problem with anxiety in academia uh, in college was that when I was too stressed, I couldn't properly remember things, which meant I couldn't recall stuff when I needed them for tests. GPA ended up okay, but it was hellish. And GPA is a really frustrating thing too, Ducks, because it keeps a constant record of everything you've done up to that point, right? For grades. 
but it doesn't talk about how that grade point average came to be. It doesn't keep in mind the stressors that you were probably under, you know, specific events that occur in life that are negative that could have impacted how you were studying at the time. And then you have to look at that number for the next 12 years and go, hey, remember that one year that was really shitty and dragged this number down forever? Like, that's, that's really frustrating. So I don't even like the idea of a GPA. I like the idea of a year to year, like, comparison, I guess, for grades or, or improvement and progress and things. But keeping a GPA for four years in a school or three years in a school, it doesn't matter where you're at. I don't like that. I don't like that. That bothers me. Uh, definitely agree. The pressure I put on myself was a lot. Looking back, the end result is probably the same as if I had been on easier on myself as well. Yeah, it's, it's about the same if I had been easier on myself, dude. Yes. Well, that's the problem is once you're all done with it, right, you can look back with hindsight and go, hmm, maybe I should have done this or that or whatever. And then you can't really change it. So it, it can be frustrating. Um, sorry, I'm having some weird Twitter things popping off. Ames, thank you for pinging pronouns well, and pronouns. I appreciate it. Hello, my worst semester was when my grandma, oh, when your grandma passed you. away. That would never show up, but... Yeah. Yeah, I understand completely, Ducks. That can be a very frustrating thing. GPAs are weird. Kerbelli, hello. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, Kerbelli and Raiders. How's it going? If you are new here, I would love to say hello to you. Please feel free to say hi in the chat. Uh, but how were you doing? What were you up to? You were doing some just chatting. What were you talking about? Hi, Ricky. How you doing? What's going on? You're joining us at a wonderful time. We're in the middle of a conversation about the stressors of school. Our favorite thing. Our favorite thing to talk about. So if you have anything that you want to talk about involving school being annoying, feel free. You're just chatting. What were you talking about? What were you talking about if you don't mind me asking? I'd love to know. If you guys don't know me, by the way, I'm Lime. It's nice to meet you. I do a variety of things. And right now we're having a mental health chat uh, about school and the stressors that come with it. About things. Okay. Kerbelli, that's totally fine. I will not push you to talk about it. If you guys want to see what Kerbelli was talking about, though, please go over and follow his channel. He's great fantastic streamer and I, i'm a very much a fan probably Cervelli's like number one fan if i had to choose but don't 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 tell anyone because that's a secret how do we get over there i didn't mean to click any of those buttons sorry <laughs> don't know how that happened but anyway i hope you had a wonderful stream and thank you very much for the rate i appreciate it it was just stuff okay well if you want to see them talking about stuff go follow his channel and enjoy all the things that you see over there uh and i'll leave it at that Corbelli, if you need to de-stream or lurk or anything like that, or you need to just get off Twitch for the day, please feel free to do so. No pressure to stick around, and I'm very happy to see you. I hope you're off to a great uh, start with your week. Okay. But yes, so GPAs are annoying. It's true. I have a fan. I'm your fan. That's true. GPAs are very frustrating in the sense that they are very long-standing. Uh, they keep a record of all of the grades and things that you accomplish over time in school, no matter what level you're at. However... Sometimes you have, like I said, negative events that impact your grades, like a certain year, and then it reflects on you for the next couple years. Like your number gets dragged down by that one bad year, and that can be really frustrating to handle. So I've never really been a fan of GPAs at any level. Um, I still stressed myself out during my master's to get a 4.0 and got it, but they don't give you anything for doing that at the end. They don't give you a medal. They don't put it on your degree. You just got it. So it's like, cool. Neat, you know. Had an English test today, studied every day for the past two weeks, knew everything very well, but when I got the test, couldn't write a word, even when trying to sing a song in my head that I used while studying, and now I feel horrible because that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. And I feel I feel for you, very much so. You can feel free to finish what you were typing to, and I'll read that as well. But just from reading the beginning of that message, yeah, I, I feel for you completely. Um, as somebody with ADHD, I've struggled very very hard same thing with test anxiety very very hard with any sort of examination okay because it's like your brain gets drained of all information the anxiety and the stress of being tested you know automatically makes all this information just leave your head faster than you could even imagine you know um i remember taking like three different ap tests in high school and just being like look there's there's no way i'm gonna pass any of these <laughs> I will try. I will do my best to, like, get as many answers right as possible. But I was not very attached to the idea of getting college credit for finishing these tests because I knew I wasn't going to do well. Tests are just not good for me, you know. And it's the same thing with theory here. Um, in all of the colleges that I've gone to, undergrad, master's, doctorate now, 
I've taken a theory exam at the entrance and I've failed it, whether by one point or however many doesn't matter. I've failed it every time, but it's stuff that I've known. It's stuff that I've known how to do. But I open the test up and it's like, quick, do a Roman numeral analysis on this these four bars. And my brain's like, what's a one chord? If you don't know what any of that means, that's totally fine. But it's supposed to be something very easy to do. And yeah, so it's testing doesn't work. But then I get into the class for the review stuff and I'm like flying colors passing because I know all the stuff. I just can't do it in a test environment. Danny was the same. I am so sorry, friend. I'm so sorry, but I feel for you. Also, it's really good to see you. But I got to imagine you ended up doing much better than you thought you would as well, right? Like things probably improved over time. I think if I was more aware in high school of being ADHD or having ADHD rather and things like that and being aware of how to handle my test anxiety a little bit more, I'd be a little bit better with handling tests, first of all. And second of all, I would be less emotionally attached to the results of the test. So like what's plus one plus one? Yeah. And you're like, what are numbers? That's exactly right. But so here's the problem with the anxiety for school and, and testing and things is you are emotionally attached to everything, right? Why would you be emotionally attached to a grade that you get for something random, like some biology test or whatever? You're emotionally attached because you are being told all the time that if you get an F or a D or even a C, that you are doing poorly and that you are not an intelligent person and you are going to fail in the world and all this. Like, it can spiral like that. Like, people can really just lean into you and be like, you are a horrible person because you can't get above a C on a math test. And you're like, why does this matter? Why does this matter? I will never be doing math like this in real life. You know, it's whack. It can it can get out of hand really, really quickly. I feel horrible because I already started the year with fours, which is really low. You don't have to feel horrible, though. I know tons and tons of people. I'm not even kidding. I know tons of people whose school was not for them. They could not write an essay to save their life. They could proofread everybody's and they could tell them exactly what's wrong with the test or not test an essay and help them get it to an A and do all these amazing things to help people like better themselves. But if they had to do their own stuff, couldn't do it. Nope. See, and I, I was always baffled by that. It didn't make sense to me. I was like, just do your own work, dude. You're so smart. Just do yours. And they couldn't do it. And then they got out of school with like this really low grade point average, didn't go to college and are have no debt, have had a job forever that they can handle, like get a ton of money, um, are still really intelligent, being successful in the world. So like school doesn't mean everything. School does not mean everything at any level and grades specifically in school do not mean everything either. Does that mean you shouldn't try? No, but at the same time, it's okay to recognize when some things aren't for you. That semester on our final, it asked what site the archaeology archaeology professor worked at. I'd known him for years. I knew it was the name of his dog, but I couldn't remember it for the life of me. And yet nearly a decade... God, I can't read big things. I'm sorry. My jaw hates me. And yet nearly a decade later and less stressed, I even now remember. Sitio Drago? I can't even say that correctly. Uh, snapshots don't give a proper impression of how someone knows things overall. Yes. Yes, that is a very good lesson to keep in mind, Ducks. That's true. One little tiny bit of, hey, show me your knowledge, doesn't actually do anything to show you how intelligent a person is. Feels like the only concrete rating system of a person in society. It, what? Brain, read messages in chat and understand them, please. See, I can't even read chat half the time. It feels like the only concrete rating system of a person in society. There's not much of another number that we attach to ourselves. Maybe salary after that. Neither are good things to compare people because they're so one-dimensional. Oh, okay. Comparisons to numbers, yes. Grading in school versus salaries with people. How much money do you make? Oh, I make more money than you? I must be smarter than you. Yeah, that's not it. Because I know so many people who make... Think of all the billionaires that are totally not that intelligent and should not be there, but they've gotten all the money from their families over the years and it's just grown. Like, your money does not matter. Your money does not make you smarter or not. Thank you, Ducks. I appreciate it. Sorry. I just see a lot of lines of text and I can't... Maybe I should expand chat. Maybe if I make chat bigger, it'll make it easier for me to see. Let's do that today. Maybe that'll improve it. Well, yeah, so I, it's just, that's some stuff to just get out of the way. Probably a slight correlation. You think there's a slight correlation between money and intelligence, you think? Or am I missing something? Was it something else you said? 
Because I don't know. I would disagree with that. I don't. I don't think the amount of money you make necessarily means that you're more intelligent or not. Because think about people who go to trade schools and things. They may not be really intelligent with much, but they're really intelligent with one thing. And they can get a ton of money by doing that one thing. But somebody who is like a teacher who has worked all their life to really round out their education and be smart about all kinds of things gets underpaid because it's a profession that isn't really respected. You know, there, there's all kinds of variation in there, I would say. Especially in the U.S. where since and before the 50s, college was a huge part of the American dream. Today, that doesn't work out so well. Yeah, you go to college for four years, you might walk out with, you know, somewhere between $50,000 and $80,000 of debt. You know, I walked out with about 60000 I think, before I even started. No, it would have been about like sixty, seventy thousand, 70000 I guess, for finishing undergrad because I didn't get any money. I didn't get any money for it, nor did I really get a lot of scholarships. And then went to master's degree, got a little bit of money. But then the interest on the loans pulled everything up to like 80000 So now I'm going to go into school again, getting a little bit more money. But interest on those loans is going to spike me up to like somewhere around 100000 or more by the time that we're done with school. Like, I don't know. I like to assume that I'm somewhat smart in this world. Not super smart, but somewhat. And that's, yeah, the money means nothing. Socioeconomic status in early life is the biggest factor when it comes to money later in life. If you owe 5 billion freaking dollars in the beginning of your life, how much fun is it going to be for you trying to get more money later? Uh, it's a hard thing to learn to start valuing yourself based on everything you do as a person instead of thinking of yourself as a number. I mean, yeah, take a look at Twitch. Twitch is an easy indication of how I feel about myself. I feel horrible about myself half the time if I take even one look at my numbers, you know? Can't look at those, but people define themselves by those all the time. Watch Twitter. Watch everybody on Twitter talking about it. You either have the people who constantly are saying numbers don't define you, and you have the people who are like, God, I feel awful because my numbers went from like a 40 average every day to like 12. <laughs> or my sub count was like 500 to 600, and now it's, you know, two. It's all kinds of stuff like that. You know, numbers, humans want to attach themselves to numbers. They want to be on the tier list. They want to know how high they are in comparison to somebody else. And that stems from how you grow up, I think, and the society that we're in. And a lot of that comes from school. So why I'm talking about all of that crap is because it starts when you're in school and the academic institutions. Kindergarten, same thing. Kindergarten, first grade. You do all these easier projects, but for you at the time, it probably wasn't easier. And like doing math, what are they? Math timetables or whatever. You want to be the first one to get them done. You want to memorize them and just crank through them so you can be the first one done and be better than everybody else. Not because you want to actually know how to multiply like that, but because you want to beat somebody else in that room or maybe everybody in that room. It's a competition to see who can do better than somebody else. And it constantly gives off the impression that in life to succeed, you have to be better than everyone. You don't have to better yourself as a person and be better than you were yesterday. You just got to beat everybody else all the time. Which is very unhealthy. <laughs> and I think it's very safe to say that. You know, like, that doesn't even feel like an opinion thing. I, I think at this point, I would call that a fact. It's extremely unhealthy to be in such a competitive nature that you aren't trying to better yourself as a person, but you're trying to just kick the shit out of everybody else. It just doesn't work. By the way, it goes the other way, too. Feeling you don't properly know something because no one has tested you on it. I'm a professional accountant, technically. I've worked here for almost five years, but since I don't have a degree in it, I feel like a, a charlatan. <laughs> Jesus. Ducks. You are way, way, way smarter than that. You are way smarter than that. You don't need a piece of paper to tell you that. Don't worry. I have a few tips for people who are stressed due to a lot of homework. When stressed, write down all the things you have to do, then do thing by thing. And when halfway done, go listen to a lo-fi or play chill game like Minecraft. That, Stefan, that is, a, that is a good way to go about it. Whoa, it wouldn't work no for way. everybody, of course. It wouldn't work for everybody. But that's a really good way to start it. You know, I am of a similar kind of mindset with ADHD and, and the testing anxiety. I freak out when I got... 80 something things to do thank you for the follow by the way i appreciate it um when you got 80 things to do sometimes it helps to just write them all down you know and then pick one thing on the list and just do it uh it may take a while to even do one thing on the list but that's a good way to get started and also you discuss a very important thing too stefan making sure that you take some rest time for yourself you know if you're gonna play Amer uh, minecraft i was gonna say america you're gonna play minecraft or put on some lo-fi music that's totally cool you want to go for a run you want to go take a nap? I don't know. Do something that, you know, isn't about school for a little bit. And then you go back to it. Yes, I laughed at the name as well, Phil. Unlearning all that is a lifelong journey, yeah. Goal is just to be happy with all that I got. But also, Badger, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I don't need to need to... 
I don't need to beat everyone. I just need to beat you to ramen noodle aisle. <laughs> That's fair, Puggle. You'll beat me. You'll beat me easily. I never had issues with needing to have a high GPA, but I never noticed how bad anxiety over projects was until I had an actual anxiety attack. Yeah, that'll do a lot for you, for sure. My anxiety over deadlines has slowly been growing up until I had had one and only then did I consider counseling. What? Until I had an anxiety attack and only then did I consider counseling. Got it. If you have issues getting yourself started with writing or your brain shuts down when thinking about writing, reflect on that and consider counseling. Counseling is always a very good thing for any sort of topic, you know? Not even necessarily school. I'm going to take off these headphones, though, because it's just hurting me to keep them on. So you get to deal with my actual head today. Congratulations. Related to all this, if you need help from a professional with whatever problems you are encountering, there are different levels of this. Like basic tutoring, you might start simply talking to the professor. Anything else beyond that, you should consider a counselor, therapist, or a uh, psychologist. Squid, those are very, very good. Those are very, very good uh, resources. And they're easy to find, too. Google is your friend. We have a couple, I think, maybe in the Discord. If not, I will look into ways to put some more resources in there in the mental health channels. Um, but yeah, Squid, I can I can wholeheartedly believe that tutoring is super useful. People really don't want to use tutors because they're afraid, again, with the competition aspect of academia, that people will make fun of you for needing help or wanting help. Like, there is nothing wrong with that. In the same aspect as, like, therapy is really important and everybody should be able to feel comfortable going to a therapist because you're literally just talking to somebody who may help you see things in a different light it doesn't mean that you're like bonkers or anything it just means that you i don't know might hear something from someone that you wouldn't have thought of otherwise um tutoring is the same way you know you have this idea of how to do the problems that you're working on but they're not working you know you're doing something wrong in that process so they help you see the process from a different angle and you, it might actually click for your brain and go oh oh that makes so much more sense i was fucking that up that's my bad you know and you wouldn't have got that without a tutor so tutors are very good i remember you saying something like this before but did you intend there to be music if there is some i cannot hear it yes there is supposed to be music on right now ducks and Ka kyle said that there kyle said he could hear it so i'm confused if you can't I don't mind, mind you, just thinking about it before. I appreciate you sig or asking about it just to be safe, but yes, it should be there. I see it playing, and I heard it playing. That's why I took off my headphones, because it was driving me a little crazy. It's pretty quiet, but I can hear it. I'll bump it up a little bit, just so you can be sure that you're hearing it. Yeah, the hope is that the music's not the same volume as my speech. That's all. Because the past couple times I put it up at the same thing. That's there. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Yeah, Ducks, just making sure, hopefully, maybe it was just quieter for you. I'm, I'm not sure. Hopefully you can hear it. Being deceived. Oh, no, Ducks. Ducks is the Sith Lord. It's about a quarter as loud as you. If it needs to be louder, let me know. Now that the headphones are off, I'm happy to turn it up a little bit. Um, just gotta let me know, okay? Otherwise, we'll just continue on as time goes on. Um, but yeah, so for me personally, I guess I, the next station that we could go to. Still good after the increase? Good. The next station we could go to is stuff that has to do more with, of course, my experiences, and then you guys can feel free to at any point interject with anything that you want to talk about in it. I'm happy to switch gears. Um, for me, everything with the competition of academia that causes that stress and that need to be better than other people is heightened by going to college, number one. Number two, being a musician in college. Those two specific things have like erupted a ton of anxiety in me over the past couple years that I've had to work really really hard to uh to whittle away at you know and get rid of uh maybe it's just me I would only hear a quiet tap every once in a while I can hear it now thank you no worries ducks I appreciate you asking just to make sure because we have had that before and and I have asked for people to let me know if they can't hear things so that's good um but yes things are extra frustrating when you play music because it adds another layer of competition and what I think the stress in school does besides weighing on you and makes you it, it can make you feel negatively about yourself you know from a mental aspect of things is that your brain isn't smart enough you know or that you don't take in information well and all this stuff and it, it's just it can be a lot but if you add the music element to stuff too then it feels like you know i'm not a good enough musician i don't emote well enough in my music i don't understand what i'm playing enough um, that person has more talent than me. Like, there's so many different more angles that you can just negatively affect yourself because in school, you are forced to be around... Um, well, I shouldn't say forced. Forced is the negative light. We are allowed to be around uh, and urged to be around colleagues and other performers and people like that who are also doing the same stuff as us, you know? 
Visual artists would be the same. All people who paint are around people who paint as well. Uh, it's just all kinds of art interweaves with other artists. Uh, so I think with the competition angle of school, the more layers of competition that you add, the bigger your overall anxiety is going to be, right? Competition to finish all your tests and do them well. Competition to finish projects and get good grades on them. Competition to do normal homework. Competition to perform at a higher level in audition so you beat people out for bands. Doing a better recital than the next person so you can be looked at as the better musician. Playing with as many people as possible so you can look like the better music. Like there's all these layers of constant competition that are put there naturally to try to better yourself. But instead people take it and go, no, this is a tool for me to judge myself and my work. My worth as a musician or student is based solely on if I can beat the heck out of somebody else at something or not. And that's the frustrating part about being a music major in college, you know, let alone just being a musician in general, of course. I failed out of grad school the semester of the anxiety attack. It was near the end of the semester, so I never got the chance to start the counseling. If I ever go back, I will from the beginning. Squid, no pressure to you to ever go back, but also I feel like with your awareness and things, the next time that you would go back, it would be a whole lot more successful. You know, and just because you couldn't get through it the first time doesn't mean that that going the first time wasn't that much of a success. You know, just doing anything at all sometimes is a success, and I'm proud of you for even doing it the first time. Musicality that has both an artistic and technical aspect met with a numerical grade is different, or is difficult, both in composition and performance. Oh my god. Composition is my favorite, favorite problem when it comes to grading. I don't understand why we grade compositions the way that we do, you know, and a lot of places aren't so harsh about it, which is good, but if you're going to force even people who aren't composition majors to write a piece or write a selection for a project and then you grade it, and you grade it based on whether you like it or you don't like it, that's a problem. If you grade it based on, like, I need you to use good voice leading rules, or I need you to make sure that the, the ranges make sense, like, make it playable. Like, that's fine, I guess, from a sense of grading, like, so a, a person knows that they're really thinking well about how to make music. But there are teachers and professors that I know that are like, I wouldn't write this, so I'm going to grade this very poorly. And that is just, ooh, no. Music is literally made for us to have different, you know, tastes and different ideas and different genres that we like. So you know you can't grade based off of if you like or don't like it. I've never liked how people grade compositions when it comes to specifically non-comp majors. Comp majors who probably have a good teacher who hopefully, you know, would only grade based on problems to the performer appearing in the piece and things like that. Who knows? But you make a good point, Sam, for sure. Um, other topics and things that I want to think about, you know, and this isn't going to be a particularly long conversation, really. Um, I'd imagine about like two hours max or an hour and a half, really. And then I'm just going to go get some dinner. Tuesdays are now the day that we're going to be doing the, um, the Klezmer Jam stuff at night instead of Wednesdays. So, um, this is the one that I will have to be leaving a little bit earlier in the day, whenever we stream. And then Wednesdays will be the ones that I can hang out for longer. Uh, and that'll be good. But... Squid, are you okay now? That is a good question, Ducks. That is a good question, though. No written papers, no anxiety. Mm, interesting how that happens. Weird how that happens. So, I mean, I don't know. Let's gauge... Let's gauge my anxiety in the master's program versus the current anxiety in um, the DMA, right? A master's program is two years. It's two years. You go somewhere really, really far away, usually, and you just take everything apart and you start over again. You, like and by taking everything apart, I mean your ability on an instrument, you start from the beginning again like you have never played the instrument again. So you can fix technical problems with the face if you're a wind player, hands, all that sort of stuff, or just how you view music. Um, you have two years to do that. But in that time, you also have to do way bigger projects for written tests and theory and all these things. Um, and you don't have to do gen general education courses anymore. Like you don't have to do math, science and all that stuff. But you still got to do a lot of like really busy work. Um, then you also have to have time to practice. You have to have time to eat and to sleep and to do all this stuff. So you're pretty much working around the clock and you probably have a job while you're doing it too. That's very normal for graduate school. So for me, I had the IT uh, stuff for the building that I was doing um, and that took a lot of time. My problem with the workload was because everything was so consistent and I was doing projects all the time and being stressed, like the normal stress for school, 
I tacked on another layer of competition by having to take apart my face and start again and build new muscles like I'd never played before. Because I was used to passing by in undergrad sounding kind of okay. Like, I don't think I sound spectacular at the instrument at the time. Other people might be nicer to me, which is, which is I appreciate. Um, but I didn't think I sounded that good. And when I had to take everything apart and start over, I sounded even worse because I had not had the muscles built up to really sound well. Um, so I, all these people in their undergrad degrees are sounding way better to me tone-wise than I ever could hope to. And I sounded like I was a sixth grader holding the horn again, which is a horrible, horrible pit of anxiety that I do not wish upon anybody. So hopefully you've never gone through something like that and never will. Um, was it helpful in the long run? Sure. In two years, I was ma I managed to put everything back together. And, you know, while it's been really hard with TMJ and everything, I sound way better than I ever did before, which is great. So that was a positive thing. But in the school system and my constant worry about, you know, needing to compete with other people, it was really hard to get through that considering, you know, I was always moving, always trying to do something else for school. And then when I went to do the one thing I wanted to do, it didn't sound good, especially compared to everything I heard. So there was a ton of stress for master's program. Horrible. I got through undergrad because no one else played tenor, tenor sax in my small school. Some people do that. Some people do that. They just can pass through because because they were the, the like top student at the time in their high school and things like that. You know, you can kind of just coast through programs like that too, which doesn't make you a good or bad person necessarily. But that just happens sometimes. So then for doctorate, I'm here for longer. Three to four years. Probably about three. There's a lot going on. I still have to do a ton of projects. I still have to do a ton of schoolwork. And I have to do even more practicing. However, it's a little bit better this time around so far because I'm not thinking so much about competing with other people. Number one, that's the biggest one. Number two, um, my sound and everything is... is better than it was when I went into the Masters, so I don't have to worry as much about sounding like a 6th grader, I just have to worry about sounding like a high school instead. <laughs> no, that's not really it, but there's less stress because of that, even though the workload is relatively the same. So when it comes to anxiety and academics, no matter what you're doing, it's all really going to come down to you, right? It's going to come down to your individual mind and what you can handle, um, the, the experiences that you've gone through, the people you talk to, you know, there's all kinds of things. The teachers you have, the tutors you have, your parents in public school when they try to watch your grades and make you do things. Like, there's endless possibilities for things to go well or not, you know. Uh, it, it, it really is an individualistic thing. I'm a producer, and when I listen to someone else's work, I'm like, I can never make that ever. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I, I, I can very much share that point of view. I listen to music that people play all the time and I go, I could never play like that. Or music that people write all the time and go, I could never write something like that, you know. And I'm somebody who likes to make a lot of edited videos for YouTube and, and Instagram and things and, you know, put like five of me playing a clarinet together into one thing. That's always cool. They never were super big or good or whatever. They were very small scale, but like, I enjoyed doing that. And then I see someone who's like, here is a 30 minute symphony that I did all the parts on and edited it together and I conducted myself as well and you're like what the fuck oh so there's a lot of a lot of looking at other people's work sometimes and comparing in a not positive way so you got to be careful about things like that um yeah sorry I'm talking a lot about me so if anybody does have anything that they want to put into the topic anything at all about anxiety in education or why it's there um what it was there for you like anything like that, I would love to hear. I had a lot of pressure on myself in college calc since I was really strong in math in high school. Ended up dropping the class the first time around and taking it again later and still pulling my GPA down when I did. Kyle, that was what hit me for high school. I understand completely. Not on the same level, of course, because calc in college is much harder. But yeah, I was really good at math because I was forced to be. And then pre-calc and, and AP calc came around and I barely could get through it. So uh, yeah, math at some point when you're used to being good at it and then it's all of a sudden hard. It's like, what the hell? Why? I also came to realize that it was not really important to me anymore because it's not the direction for the career. So it was just a slog for the requirement. Every gen ed for college. So yeah, probably the same thing for you, right? That was, was that four year degree that you had to take calc or was that just a gen general education course? I can think of a lot of English courses that I had to take that 
the stress for the GPA made me write stuff and I wanted the good grade, but you know, I don't agree with the grades that I got half the time. And I, I didn't want to do them. They weren't something I was excited about. I knew I was there for music, so I didn't really want to work on, like, how do I write a persuasive essay for the five billionth time? I think I know how to write those at this point, you know. If my persuasive essays aren't that good, maybe I'm just not a persuasive person. <laughs> I don't think you can really learn how to do that sometimes. You need a calc 1 and 2. Oh my god, that's a lot. I'm so sorry. I was way more interested in geography, environmental stuff, and not everything math-related. That's fair. I, I took geology thinking that things were going to be fun. And then geology turned out to be a lot of math, too. And I was like, no, I was trying to leave the numbers behind so I could look at rocks and stuff. And nope, that wasn't the way to go. So, sad. Sad time. But, so there's just, there's endless, endless possibilities for this conversation to go, you know. When it comes to school, most people have a negative view of the competition aspect of things or like what it does to people's minds and how it makes them feel so, uh, socially and emotionally there's a lot of negative you know hi evie how you doing it's good to see you and comics it's great to see you as well i love the melanie mo i was so relieved when i finished that school and didn't need to do math anymore as i found it really difficult i was so disappointed to realize i need to use it again when i went back to uni five or so years ago oof yeah uh if someone ever told me i had to go back to take a calc class for my degree i think i would probably drop out because no i'm not doing that it's not happening not gonna happen currently work wants to go study rocks in spare time to get a license but i'd rather use my spare time for non-work related stuff yeah please do please please avoid having to do the geology okay no amount of money is worth it if you need extra time for you to rest okay comics lots of love i hope you're doing well but yeah I, I i just keep coming back down to the same idea right when it comes to stress from school the stress can come from the people who are leading the classes right okay if you have a very good teacher or a very bad teacher it doesn't matter you can still have a lot of unwanted stress from any of them a good teacher i think would probably make you less stressed because they would help you through things a little easier um but a bad teacher would make you feel horrible for getting F's on tests that they also weren't teaching the information for. Because uh, I have had that happen before. Not F's, but done poorly on tests before because the teacher should not be teaching. And got fired after I left, thankfully, but not while I was there, sadly. I'm going to get a professional geologist license, which I'm not one and have no geology background. My degree was vaguely environmental with oceanography. You don't need to get that then. That's fine. I struggled through and managed. It doesn't look as though I'll need anything other than statistics this time around, and I don't mind statistics. I like stats. Stats is all right. But I'm glad to hear that you won't need that much extra work this time around, because that would be frustrating to relearn, you know? I, mm, please don't make me have to do trigonometry all over again. I don't want to do it. If he has the solution, please do share. I want to hear. I want to know. Oh, goodness gracious. About 49 minutes, and I was not drinking water. I had to do trig. Yeah, trig was part of, uh... What did that mean? Advanced algebra? What was it? We had classes freshman year. I had... Advanced algebra 2. And then another one. Not trig. Trig was included in the second one. What's the other one called? Fuck, what is it? Geometry. We had a class specifically for geometry, and trigonometry was thrown into the geometry class, and that was frustrating. Pick up a pretty rock and say, this is a rock. Look, shiny. And then they all go, wow! I love it. You only take one math class, and it was remedial algebra. You lucky bastard. You lucky you. It's already got the minor. Got by the minor geology related parts of the job. I take what other people wrote about and say, hmm, yep, looks right to me. Enjoy your lurk, goblin. Hope you're well. I had to use it for the prop propagation of sound in open fields. I do not know what the propagation is. And it sucked balls, so I bet. I bet. All right, quick intermission in the discussion for me to breathe. You kind of like math. Oh, okay, now quick intermission. That's okay, Stefan. That's great. Um, quick intermission to say, yes, I saw the DLC fighter for Smash Bros. And I'm very excited because in case nobody knows from all the times that I'm so sad when the... When nobody wants to watch me play it. Whoa, look at that. Um, awesome. Kingdom Hearts is my favorite. Kingdom Hearts is my favorite all-time thing ever, next to Crash Bandicoot. So I'm very happy for um, Sora being in the game. Uh, if you're not... So sorry. 
Gaming some FIFA. Enjoy your FIFA, Luca Lely. I appreciate it very much. Enjoy. I'm doing well, and I hope you're doing great too. Uh, it's very lovely to see you and your glowing green name. Goblin, thank you so much for subbing that tier one again for a 10th month, friend. I appreciate it a lot. I hope you're doing good. Acoustic sounded really cool to me until I figured out it was math and physics. No, thank you. No, thank you. Chapless Jorts character? Yes, this... No, this is not the Chapless Jorts character, right? That's... That's Riku. That's Riku. Sora's the main character. Um, but they did a lot of work on that character. I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. I might actually buy this one if I can spare $6 when it comes time. Uh, it's like October 18th or something he comes out. So I'll probably never play anybody again except for him and, and Minecraft, uh, which will be funny. I love calling him Minecraft and not Steve. It'll be good. It'll be a good time. Kyle, I can't wait to play against you. Goofy's the main character. They didn't even put Goofy in the game, Katie. I'm so sad. They could have done that. Hi, Katie. How you doing? Okay, but I wanted to get that out and make sure to say that. Is there anything else that I should say to you guys at the time? Um, anything else that I need to let you in on? You can also pick Alex, that's true. I don't know. There is the schedule on Discord if you haven't seen it. Um, the schedule is probably going to be a little bit more concrete now, finally. Okay, so plan for it if you can. Tuesdays at 4 p.m., Wednesdays at 4 p.m., Friday at 9 a.m. for fun, and then probably most of the time Saturdays at 4 p.m. as well. So we're going back to the similar time schedule just on a couple different days. Um, might change if it needs to later on down the road, but hopefully this will be a little bit more consistent to see some people we haven't seen in a bit. Uh, that would be lovely. Squid? I haven't seen Squid in a while, and I'm really happy to see Squid now. I, ho I hope I have made that very apparent, because Squid is awesome. Katie, same thing. Wade, how's it going? You snuck in too? Everyone's just sneaking in. I appreciate it. How you doing, Wade? Hope things are going good. Yeah, Goofy's not in there. Sorry, just remind me of the time zone. EST. EST, no worries. So about an hour ago, um, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, it's the exact same time, and then Friday is my 9 a.m., um, so you're like... 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 2 p.m. See, I can't do math. That's why I'm doing Trying to convert over 300 pages from an old English book into text speech. Oh, ducks, that's a lot of characters, friend. That's a lot of pages. You've been listening for a half hour now? Gotcha. No worries, dude. I'm doing well, though. I hope you're doing well, too. Something is wrong. They didn't want to put too much Disney. If I So, last thing I'm going to say is usually... Usually with a new character for Smash, people get really upset because the character is bad or whatever. They get frustrated at it. This was the one time that I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I don't care to check out what other people's opinions are. Most people's opinions was either technically he's still a sword fighter, so that people didn't like it. Like, he's using a sword, but it's not really a sword, so it doesn't matter. Um, the other one was, which is more understandable, is Disney is an asshole, and I don't want to give them any more money. So buying that character would send some money to Disney. So I completely get it. But... I love the character, so. Disney is bad, yes. I will agree Disney is bad and then be a horrible, horrible hypocrite by buying the character anyway. Um, and what I'm going to do is when he comes out on whatever day that is, let's see, what is that? The 18th is a Monday. Oh, fuck. So maybe the next day. Yeah, I'll just do Smash for like two hours. I'll do Smash for like two hours and anyone is welcome to join and fight me, even if it's only one person on repeat. Um, I'm going to only play Sora for the entire time and learn how to play him. Uh, and it'll be a fun time. So that'll be a stream for the future in like two weeks. Um, but Freeze Burn, I agree. He looks so cool. He looks so cool. I'm a little sad that he's the original game. I wish he was a little bit bigger, older, but that's okay. Sleep well, Wade. No worries. Take care. That's okay. Enjoy your lurk, Freeze Burn. No biggie. No biggie, no biggie. <laughs> Evie, what the heck? <laughs> Take care. See you around, dude. No worries. Um, but yeah, so the schedule is that, and there I've said it, so now I will move on. That's my end of my um, uh, catching you, you up on what? things, I oh, guess. Yes. Thank you so much. You know what? This is earmarked for Lime Giggle. Thank you very much <laughs> for the $6 tip, you dork. No, that has to go to my November rent. You see, the bar is right there. The bar is right there. Okay, I appreciate it. I guess I will I will purchase him. Thank you very much for your generous contribution. I really do appreciate that. Um, what about the tax? No. Where's the try jumping redeem? It's not there yet, comics. Comics is all excited probably because we talked about the idea of a um, interactive Dark Souls experience, which might be might be saved for the charity stream. It might be saved for the charity stream. I haven't decided. Or we can do it multiple times. Who cares? Um, where we start a character and everybody gets to redeem through 
um, channel points or bits or subs or tips or whatever, um, different things happening. And basically it's just going to make it so I can't do anything and will only die the whole time. But yeah, I think that would be more fun than me just playing through the game again and not caring. Can't do math for tax. We talked about it. I don't know how to do math for tax. That's fine. I got to sneeze. Come on. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope that wasn't super loud. Fuck. I don't care for bars, but I support that one. I don't care for bars much either. <laughs> a friend of mine and I were like trying to figure out if we actually wanted to go to a bar one time just to say that we've done it. So we walked downtown and saw like six different bars. We were like, no, that one's bad. That one's probably okay. Whoa, that one's that. awful. Awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Just going down. And at some point we were like, let's just tell everybody that we went to the bar. We'll be the talk of the whole school because we went to the bar. So we just talk about that joke all the time. And we've never actually gone, which I think is very fun. Um, Ducks, thank you so much for giving us up to Squid. I appreciate it. Squid, enjoy your new badge and your emotes. What badge is that? What badge is that? That is the eight-month badge. You are one badge away. You're one month away from a new badge. Whatever happened to bars? Whatever happened to bars? I don't know. Spitting bars? I don't spit bars. Okay. Let's go back to the topic at hand. If anybody else new has joined us at this point and wants to talk about the experiences that they've had with stress in school, what the causes of stress were, uh, I would love to know. The stress we've talked about so far has mostly been uh, with the people we go to school with the competition that comes with it um, but this can also come from the different teachers you have as well the mentors you have um, the lack of teachers or mentors as well all kinds of things can give you stress just the location of your school whatever whatever and I think it's very important to note how we deal with the stress of school as well anything else you want to talk about in terms of sources for the stress I think is very important but also maybe we could try to find ways to handle it so squid has pointed out one that's very very important right Sorry, I'm getting all stuffed up. There are a lot of topics and there are a lot of topics in hand, but very few at foot. What? What does that even mean? Hi, Max. Ducks, I don't understand. I don't get the joke. Maybe I'm bad with English. I, I am bad with English. That's probably it. So, uh, but Squid has brought up a very important point, though, about tutors. Tutors is a very, very good one. Um, when it comes to, or not just tutors, but counselors as well. When it comes to trying to do better in school and regulating the anxiety and stress, you don't have to handle that on your own. The whole point of a counselor at any level, especially with college, is so they can assist you with that stress and find ways to lessen it, okay? And, and they're not there to at hand. A lot of topics at hand, but very few at foot. Oh, you're just making a, a pun. Okay, well, lime pun, horrible. <laughs> bad at typing fast that's okay i pointed out because i studied uh psychology and counseling i appreciate that you do because honestly until recently i didn't actually know what the counselor was for i thought the counselor at school was for like if you're having social issues at home you're having social issues with friends like i didn't think there was an academic purpose to a counselor because no one talked about him no one talked about it if you got sent to the counselor's office it was like you're doing career planning in high school you know that's not what a counselor is for necessarily like they can do that but there's way more and it's just not public knowledge on what a counselor is there for stressful thing about school is politics oh which we don't need to talk about but being in the political minority costs anxiety during certain conversations and world events there's nothing wrong with that yeah and that's okay politics isn't something that we talk about here really but it's important for a topic like this that it makes sense i mean i talked about the teacher that didn't teach us anything and I, and I had to work really hard to pass the class. Students cheated the whole time basically because they knew that the teacher wasn't gonna teach them anything and we all had to work together to get out of it. That is a horrible thing. I do not condone cheating. However, I will be completely honest in high school, I had to cheat in that class that no one could pass because no one knew what was gonna be on the test. No one knew what was even in the book because the book didn't tell us the right stuff. So it sometimes you gotta do bad things apparently and then feel guilty about it afterwards because that's that's what I did. But hey, I'm still here. But yes, that was a politics course, which is why I'm asking or talking about that now. We had a strictly super conservative, hyper conservative person who refused to talk about any part of the other side of the arguments. And therefore, the test didn't ever become well-rounded. Um, and it was very, very difficult to pass any of those things. So that added to a lot of my stress at the time because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing in there. School should point out the counselors and disability resources when explaining all the other resources at school. Squid, I don't think they pointed out any resources to us at all. 
I think maybe we talked about like the library like one time. I think I think we got to go to the library and be like, look, there's books in here. And then I never went back in there again for any purpose whatsoever. I can't even picture my middle school library. I'm trying. Nope, that's that's got to be the high school library that I'm picturing. I cannot picture them. I do I do not know. I can picture my elementary school library a tiny bit somewhere in my brain. Mostly because we got new shelves one year and I remember being super excited about it. But that's the only resource we ever got told about. We didn't got told didn't get oh, did not get told. Urgh. Did not get told <laughs> what other resources we were allowed to use, you know. And then I thought like for a counselor you had to to be a special person to get it. You had to be invited down. You had to pay for it. Like all these things. It's just stuff that the schools don't let you know about as a kid. You don't really know. And in high school, it's maybe it's more our job to seek out resources like that, but I, I didn't know. I didn't really know. So, it's a rough time. I spent a lot of time worrying about what was going to happen with college because I knew I had to go. And by had to go, I mean my parents have told me now I didn't have to go. But I'm pretty sure I, I had to go at the time. Uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I don't remember choosing to go into music. It, it feels like a fever dream that I just kind of like appeared here two years into the program and then like, well, it's too late to change. Honestly, I probably at a point was like really stressed about it and thought I had to choose an answer by the end of school year and went, well, music's the only thing I enjoy doing, so I should pick that, which isn't a bad way to choose stuff. You know, when it comes to your job, you got to love your job. So I'm not upset that I chose that. But God, did I not know how much work it was going to be. And I don't remember choosing it at the time, or else I might have tried to pick something else and keep music as, like, something to fall onto. Would I be okay at music at all if I didn't? No. I think I would be very bad at music. But, uh, yeah, I just remember the stress of having to choose to go on to more school and to not know what to do with it was, like, oh, my God. It was just weighing on my mind constantly. I was so depressed I didn't even get out of bed most days outside of school. I would go to school, do my work, I would come home and go straight to bed. And I remember my mom coming into my room and being like, look, I don't know what's wrong with you. What do you, what is, why do you keep going to bed? And I was like, I don't know. There's nothing to do in my brain. It's just too busy. And I, I didn't know how to articulate my thoughts, but it was about a half a year of me going, where do we go from here? What, what do I do? And do I open myself up to more college? Because college is going to be scary. And college is going to be hard. Because that's all that like TV tells you. Is that college is very, very difficult. Or it tells you that college is really easy. And all you got to do is party the whole time. Which we all know wasn't true. Um, I had a French class in high school. Where it was his first year teaching. And he mentioned he was using his parents teaching materials. So someone found the tests. And nearly everyone had a tiny sheet with all the multiple choice answers. So they all did well. One girl didn't. And she just worked her butt off. I proudly accepted my shit grade instead of cheating. I will follow my morals like a sinking ship. Ducks, I'm proud of you. And yes, I am a horrible person for cheating. I will happily raise my hand for that one. I do not condone cheating at all. But in my opinion at that time, I was dead dead sure that no one was going to pass. No one was going to pass any of those tests because we never knew what was going to be on it. The guy would come to school and he would just talk about how Republican views are the best and just tell us that anybody who said anything otherwise, especially for moral issues, was told that they were basically the devil uh, and shot down. So we didn't learn anything. Homeworks were really hard and the test didn't make any sense. So yeah, we cheated and I, I will stand by that and feel horrible about it, but oh well. There's no judgment. Yep, I'm judging me. I'm judging me, not you. PSA, almost all the resources at school are available to all students and are paid for by your tuition. Use them. And that goes for college as well. Please, please, for God's sake, if you are in college, hopefully you're in college because if you're in high school, you're not supposed to be here technically. Um, if you are in college, please use them. Please. As somebody who didn't use them, I'm telling you, they're very, very useful and I would have gotten so much more out of them had I known that they were there. Um, DA, you're always judging me. That's okay. That's okay, because I'm always judging you. Judging you positively, but I'm always judging you, yes. Love you lots, Zara. How you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're well. Oh my god. For sure, though, what do I do after this question is a huge source of anxiety for college. Almost everyone I know has switched majors who switched plans for their career after. It's hard to have that pressure changing from school. It's been my whole life to what should I do with the rest of it. Oh my god. Kyle? Everybody says it, but why in the world did we decide, and who did it, 
who decided that at some point every 18 year old was going to have to decide exactly what they were going to do for the rest of their life before they have even gone out into the world and figured out how to do anything at all you know it's oh it's just not okay it's not okay i don't know whose idea that was i don't know what the alternative would be that's my problem is i don't know how would we make it so people could learn do you just go out into the world and have something else to do for like I don't know, like, do you just go out into the world, do something for five years, and then you can think it out and come back? Not sure. Not sure. It's it's hard not knowing the answer, you know? Palp. Hi, it's good to see you. Rye, how you doing as well, Ryan? I hope you're doing good. Uh, judging in a nice way, right? DA? Yeah, just judging. No, DA just judges me harshly. Could be in a good way, but always harshly. That's the very important part. <laughs> Missed you too, Zara. I've not been the best, but I'm sending all my love to you. Hope you're okay. I'm doing okay. I hope that you're doing okay. I'm sorry to hear you're not doing the best. If you ever need anything, you know where to find me. Uh, always around. And our community is here for you too, if you ever want to vent about it in the in the chat, okay? The world is a harsh place, yeah. For an 18-year-old who has barely stepped out into the world to know how to do anything and have to choose the thing that you need to do for the rest of your life, that's the biggest stress of school there is, you know? You know this from being a kindergartner and going onward, when you are in America at least. You know school's purpose is for you to be prepared for a career. You are five years old and you are told, hey, by the time that you're done with school, you'll know what job you want to do one day. It's like, where do you get the time to actually be a kid then and like enjoy being young? It's, oh, what a weird world. What a weird world we live in. I'm trying to do, oh wait, no, hold on. I missed Kyle, sorry. Uh, that's the reason people have midlife crises. It's so hard to figure out what you want to want until you know what the options truly are. I didn't know my current job existed until the last semester of undergrad. I still don't know what jobs exist for music at all. You know, I could teach college. I could be in an orchestra. I could go in the army. There you go. That's about all I could do. What else can I do? Tons of stuff, but I don't know what any of them are. Trying to do the application to the uh, epidemiology degree. I still can't say that word, so that's fine. We're moving on. But I'm scared of how hard it might be, what the job might be like at the end, and if this is even the right subject. And how can I ask professor professors I don't know well to recommend me when I don't even know if this is the right subject? I the only advice I can really give on it, Ducks, is you just gotta go for it, you know. And that's not a very helpful answer. I will apologize for, but um, a lot of the times we think things are gonna go a lot worse than they actually do, and professors are there to help you. You know, they're not there to judge you so harshly. Um, some some do it, but like. You're trying to get a job, and you're trying to do well, and you're putting in work for it. So therefore, they're going to respect that, and most of the time, they're going to try to help you out. So uh, I would, I would, despite the fear and the anxiety that goes with it, still find a way to push through if you can. Because you jumped into this for a reason, you know? You must have thought it was a good idea. You must enjoy it to some effect, and you thought it was going to put you in a better place than you are now. So uh, I completely believe that you can do whatever it is. And I'm happy to give you more direct advice or more like specific advice i guess if we talk about it some other time uh personally um but yeah it's doing it for weeks i can imagine it's a big decision it's a big decision but i know that you can handle it and do what's going to be best for you you'll Hello, know i know you'll man. know it's hard Thank to say you. that but i know you will stefan it's so good to see you hello oh god you redeemed asmr i can't re hold on stefan we'll come back to your asmr redeem in a minute because i don't want uh, to scare anybody off stefan how was your stream how, how was everything going you're doing some Minecraft. Were you on the Parsec Pal server today or were you doing something else? Hi, Fox. Hi, Yeet. If you guys don't know me, it's nice to meet you. Feel free to say hi if you're new here and we will greet you and welcome you in. Otherwise, I hope you're all doing fantastic. Can you tell me your favorite thing about Steffer's wonderful stream? It was very good. I'm glad. And you were on the Parsec Pal server. What were you doing? What were you doing on there if you want to let me know? Ducks, thank you for welcoming in the Raiders. I appreciate it. I wasn't taken along with the raid. I was left alone. No, Redox, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but you're here now and we're so happy to see you. I was learning how to MC fight. Oh God, I don't even know how to do that still. I don't even know how to do that. Hi, Cattle, by the way. Sorry, I have seen all of your messages, guys. I will catch up to you in just a moment. I just want to make sure to say hello. If you don't know me, it's nice to meet you, but I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you had a great time at Steph's stream. Favorite thing? Steph is your favorite thing about the stream. I can completely relate. And also, she has phenomenal content. Please, please go check out their stuff. It's great all across the board. And I'm so happy to see them streaming more often now. Uh, I hope they've been enjoying it too. So please go check go check her out, okay? I was teaching Steffi Rocky Montage style. Oh, what you were doing on your stream the other day too as well, right? I'm pretty sure I saw you fighting somebody else. I don't remember who that was at the time. 
Uh, I just saw Redux like plunge a sword into someone's head. Favorite thing is when she listened to Elephant for a, for a note. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. But guys, please, please go check out what she was doing, okay? My brain just did two things. Okay. <laughs> Ducks can be scary as all f as all fook to decide what to study, but you just have to believe in yourself. You've got this, I'm sure. Ducks is a very intelligent person. Uh, fewer people in this world are as intelligent as, as they are in my brain, honestly. They know so many things, and they know how to do... They know how to do so many things. Um, so they're very good at self-reflection as well. So I really feel like they know exactly what they want to do with their life. Um, and they wouldn't waste time on stuff they wouldn't want to do, you know? Well, you meant care for a nose. Okay. And also elephant having a what now? That's not good. Elephants aren't supposed to do that. Well, I can't judge an elephant. An elephant can do what it wants. But oh my goodness. Anyway, sorry. I'm all over the place right now. We're having a big conversation about stress in academia. Uh, and anxiety in general. So you are welcome to get in on this topic if you have any thoughts about school and the stress it gives you. We were talking specifically about, um, you know, what being forced at 18 years old to decide what you want to do for the rest of your life and how detrimental that can be sometimes. Um, if you have anything you want to put forth, it's a very broad topic. You're welcome to. But Steph, I hope you get some rest, food, water, whatever you need. Please take care of yourself. And thank you so much again for the raid. I hope your stream was really, really good. It's an old Yog Pod reference. Sorry. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't know the elephant one. Um, Lemon would know. Guided Lemon would absolutely know. But that one would slip by me. And then I know Carrot for a nose, of course. Um, how could I not? Okay. I'm going to scroll back up and catch up to people, okay? Macadamia nuts. I know. Academia does that to me every time. Okay. Most anxious part of academia for me was leaving. I left schooling at 17 for an apprenticeship. And honestly, I think if I followed the path I chose at 16, I wouldn't be anywhere near as happy as I am now. And you're, I'm very glad that that is the case, Gatto, but with most people, they usually choose the wrong thing first. They usually choose the wrong thing first. So finding a way to be able to leave the wrong thing, to go back to the right thing, um, is extremely hard, but also rewarding. So I, I applaud anybody who has left school for any reason and then decided later, I want to go back. Good night, Fox. Take care. Get some good rest. You know, I can applaud that. But I'm very excited for you that you managed to... Um, to get it right on the first try. That's, that is wonderful. Uh, glad to hear you're happy with what you've got. Yep, that's true. I know some people that just got jobs at school as RAs or whatever and have never left. They just enjoy the environment. As RAs? Can you keep an RA job? An RA is like somebody who is, is a resident assistant for people living in the dorms, for those who don't know. Um, I'm interested in knowing if you can just stay there. I think most people don't trust teenagers to know themselves and that's such BS. It's true. Most people don't, Katie. You can't know anything about yourself. It's the same thing with sexuality and identity. People tell kids all the time, they're just a kid. It's a phase. They don't know what's good for them yet. They're not an adult yet. And sometimes you, you do know, you know. Obviously, we're talking about my problems because they can be considered quite non-ordinary and I don't want to trigger anyone, but thank you. I appreciate you, Zara, very much for not wanting to trigger anybody here. Um, if you do feel like anything you have to say would do that, I appreciate you not mentioning it here but again in the discord if you ever want to spoiler you know mark the spoiler bars on it so it hides it unless someone wants to click on it you can put in front of it like trigger warning whatever the topic is and then vent it out and anyone who is comfortable enough listening to it including me can can uh, listen and then talk to you about it as well or a dm works too uh, works too oh enjoy your lurk redux take care thank you so much for coming by especially since you weren't dragged over you had to come over on your own i appreciate it it wasn't until I hit college until I realized it wasn't what I wanted. Ryan, I <laughs> I can understand. I can empathize a great deal, friend. Uh, it, it's a rough time. It's a rough time. You're doing something for a while because you think it's the right way to go, and then you stop and you're like, wait, why have I been doing this the whole time? This is not the right way. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I'm so sorry to say. This is not good ASMR, but I'm going to do this for the next minute because somebody redeemed this and wants us all to suffer, so... Hi. We're going to keep the mic this close for the next, like, two minutes. Hello! How dare you? Oh, god damn it. I, I literally did this so Joey wouldn't raid in here at a time like this. <laughs> Hi, Joey. How you doing? I love Joey very much. Joey was doing some Hades. Joey, how was your wonderful, wonderful stream? Radius, it's good to see you. If you don't know me, I'm Lime. I hope you're well. How's it going? I'm pretending to whisper, even though this isn't even a whisper, because somebody redeemed ASMR for some stupid reason. 
Dad's job literally didn't exist when he left school. He went back to college to get a new degree, and after my sister was born, he worked in a fr factory previous. Gatto, I'm glad to hear that your dad went back to work. That's awesome. Ducks, I completely understand. Happy to help however I can. Joey, how was your stream? What were you doing? It was good. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Wonderful. And in about 30 more seconds, I'm going to stop doing this quiet talking. I don't even know if it sounds quiet to you guys. I think they just got a guidance pos position in a student association that pays. Okay, I see, Freeze, but no worries. What did you do, Joey? Tell me about the stream. I want to hear all about it. It's really hard to sound happy. It's really hard to sound happy when I'm talking this quiet. Ah, <laughs> oh, I hate it. I want to do like an actual ASMR thing just to really peeve off some people, but I can't do it during a raid. I, that was the whole point was to not do the redeem until the raid was done. So the raid ends and I do it and then another raid comes in. Guys, please go follow Joey. Please go follow Joey. He's awesome. He's an incredible guy. Great, great streamer as well. Although clowns, there's some sort of association with clowns and I'm, I gotta disagree on the clown thing, but also that's Joey's, Joey's business and not my own. <laughs> Uh, Joey's awesome. Pretty okay in Mario Kart, gonna say. And also good at Hades. Please go check out what he's doing, okay? I work for a gaming PC builder over here in the UK, similar to CyberPower. Oh, okay, gotcha. Might have started at a lower position, but worked up through and could be happier. Well, that's awesome, Ryan. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you for doing something that you get to do. That's okay, Stefan. Take care. Sleep well. You're rebranding soon. Okay, good. No more clowns. No more clowns, Joey. Is there a place called CyberPower in the UK too? Oh, nice. Cool. That's awesome to hear, though. I, I'm jealous because I my knowledge of computers is so minute, you know. So if I ever need to build a, a PC, I know who to talk to about it. Uh, Ryan, I will I will hit you up. Okay. Joey's awesome, though. Please go give him a follow. Sorry for giving a poor, uh, poor raid welcome. If anybody um, has not seen Joey, you're missing out on a very incredibly in intelligent and, and comedic human being. Um, do not listen to him, though, if he tries to deny what I just said. One positive, masks in the office, no one can see me blush when Lime says nice stuff. I don't think I'm I'm brighter than anyone. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. None better than the, uh, none better than another, but I do appreciate you saying it's very sweet of you. That's just my opinion. Just my opinion. But I can understand where you're coming from, too, thinking that we all have our strengths and weaknesses, because that is true. I absolutely did not get it right the first time. I picked my career choice at 16, worked at it a few months before realizing that wasn't what I wanted, and did a really generic business admin apprenticeship. It took two years for, my, for me to work out. I actually enjoyed film. Gotcha. I understand, Kato. Yeah, think, I think things move faster for you guys in the UK than they do here for us. I don't know when you're allowed to go to college, um, but yeah. There are things that RA can transition to in college towns, external property management, off-campus living and sorts. Okay, so you could be the person in charge of maybe some of the apartment buildings as well. Cool. Awesome. No one knows better than you. It's true. True. Katie is very right. Sorry, I'm catching up on everybody's comments way up above there. Also, someone pinged off a thing, a quote that's incorrect. How dare you? Off to sleep. Take care, D8. Sleep well. Get some good dreams in you. Hope you have a good night. Okay. 16. Yeah, so that's that's the problem. You guys even earlier are told um, to go figure out what you want to do with your life, you know? We at least have till about 17 or 18. Oh, no clowns. Ugh. Ducks. No, clowns are a very, like, little fearful thing for me. Maybe I should put that in the chat at some point. Not the chat. The chat rules. No clowns allowed because, like, some people get triggered by, like, spider stuff, so we block that. I get triggered by clowns. I don't like clowns. Clowns are... <laughs> Is the quote wrong? Let me check if I need to fix it. No! Get that out of here, Kyle. How dare you? I'm extra enjoying how awesome the channel is right now, chat. <laughs> what the fuck, ducks? <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Let's get back to the topic, though. Wherever we can. So we talked about a lot of different things on the broad spectrum of things, but if you're just now joining us, the whole point was to talk about just stress in academia as a whole. So any sort of school, public school or college or any anything like that. Um, you can share your personal experiences if you want to, um, but at the same time, you don't have to. If you want to share general ideas about why school ends up being so stressful for people, I would love to hear it. Um, posting the quotes, that's fine, Ducks. That's okay. Yeah, I just, ugh, not a fan of clowns. Also, if you want to be a part of any of the things that are going on in the channel right now, feel free to join our Discord and other um, other stuff on there. I have been trying to get back into Instagram again. For anybody who doesn't know, YouTube stuff is coming. I promise it is. It's just really been hard with having to do a lot of teaching on the weekends. It's not leaving me a lot of time to finish recording and editing. Um, but videos are coming. And um, Discord hangs are coming, according to Kyle and Bink. The two of them are setting up one uh, very soon, by the look of things. 
So I'm excited to see what that is and how I can hang and help out if uh, if that does happen. But, okay, anything else on my list of stuff? I'm looking at my list of stuff that I was talking about. So competition was a very big part of it. Um, stressors coming from being in college specifically, choosing my major, all of that stuff is very, very important. Choosing a major is very, very hard and stressful because you are constantly thinking about, um, I'm gonna be stuck doing this for the rest of my life. And then once I get in there, there's no way out. You know, People think they have to get it right on the first try, which is kind of where we ended up where we did just now with the topic of people choosing their, uh, their, their jobs and stuff. Everybody thinks that they have to get it right on the first try and that makes it very, very difficult. <laughs> You know, because once you land in it, you're like, well, now I just have to stick it out forever. For the next, like, 70 years to, like, pass away one day. No! Why would you want to do that to yourself? What's happening in the Discord? We're going to have a hangout session at some point to either do some Gardic phone or um, just some sort of community game to hang out. Maybe, like, a Mario Kart or Smash Bros. night. Um, Kyle and Bink are going to plan a day that works for them where they can be there to facilitate. And then I'm going to try my best to be there. Uh, and, and we're going to see how many people we can get in there. That would be awesome. We do schooling from 5 five to 16 mandatory. At 16, you go to college. So you guys get out of doing school way earlier. What the heck? Sorry, we would be happy to have you. Do an apprenticeship or go to full-time work. College leads to university, which is what you guys call college. College? You can go to college, do an apprenticeship, or go into full-time work. What is college, then? Is college high school for you? I'm confused. I didn't know this. It's a legal requirement to be in work or education till the age of 18 here now. Okay, so you have to choose. You can go into work and you can go into more education, but you have to pick one of them. You can't just be done at 16. Okay, so it's not too different then from America because America, you still have to be in school all the way up. Well, you can drop out, I guess. You could drop out. That's possible. Hmm. Our college is not your college. I know that. It's higher education. Differences between our education systems. What? Cato. <laughs> I know you're trying to help. I'm sorry. But also, college for us is higher education. Higher education is anything that is not... Um, higher education is anything that is supposed to be above high school. Is your sub alert broken? I don't mind. I just thought you might. It shouldn't be. Why? Like the sound of sub alert? I haven't heard one go off. Should be working just fine. Mm, but I appreciate you asking. Uh, oh, oh, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan, if you resubbed, um, refresh your chat. Refresh your chat, and then it'll probably be like, hey, you've got a thingy. If you want to use the thingy. I noticed that you have a two-month sub badge. Thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate it. That would that would be what it is. Um, so, yeah, you have, to, you have to choose to share your anniversary because it's a resub. But yeah, Cato, higher education is anything that is above high school for us. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused, but that's okay. So yours, your college is a step below our college because your, um, what do you call it? University is our college. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure. Whoa, look at that. There awesome. we go. There we go. Thank you so much, Ryan. I really appreciate that resub, dude. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your second badge. You're the first person I think we've ever seen with that two-month badge because the badges are new. Enjoy your little seedling that is sprouting out very, very slowly. And enjoy your emotes as well. I'm so happy to have you here hanging out with us as well. My goodness. Oh. One thing I've seen a lot about lately when it comes to stress in school is the idea of tests specifically, right? Tests have a huge, huge weight on your grades. It has a huge weight on your value of yourself and your intelligence because it shows like all the things that you manage to retain and whatever. Um, a lot of people have been posting a lot for the past couple of years about exams being open book. It increases note-taking skills that are actually used like in life and, and in the workplace that you would actually use, you know, it decreases the exam stress, the grades would be better, and people would be like, no, open book is cheating, but Here's the thing, in the real world, you don't have to memorize all the things most of the time. You can still look for answers. You have a phone, you have books, you have all kinds of resources. Like, we are not improving anything, really, by forcing kids to have to try to memorize a ton of facts, pass the test, and then forget all of them later, you know? It's better to just teach somebody how to take good notes so you can remember and take, um, 
be able to find the information if you need it in the moment. You know, uh, that works especially well for trade schools and, and, and things like that. So I would find I would find that if we were really trying to improve the intelligence of our children and, and people in general, or even adults, I mean, making open book tests, if you're going to if you're going to deal with tests that often, they might as well be open note, you know, and allow somebody to actually have the real world skills that they're going to be using later on. You know, I personally find education teaches you how to pass the exam, not build on intelligence. Yeah, I can tell you. I'm very happy to be in music most of the time because a lot of music for me is memorization, you know, memorize, memorizing how, what the instrument feels like to me, the muscle memory that goes with it, but also memorizing the notes and visualizing everything, memorizing um, patterns and things that I'm going to have to reuse over and over again. There's a lot of memorization that goes into any sort of music whatsoever, right? And the only reason why I've been so good at that is because in grade school for all these years with all these multiple choice tests and things i had to memorize facts you know history classes especially i got to memorize exact dates and i got to memorize exact events that popped off and this guy's name who did this who went to this school during this year like all of this obnoxious amount of fact memorization because the test was so stressful that if you didn't memorize every fact correctly you, you wouldn't pass so i got so good at doing that and then i went into a career that was like well I only know how to memorize, so might as well just keep doing that, you know? It didn't teach me how to do all these other skills like being an electrician or understanding how math works or all the, because math and things like that aren't always about memorization. They're about, you actually have to work with a certain technique to get to a certain answer, you know? Science is the same way. You have to, to try various things and there's not always a correct answer. But history class, you know, I could teach history because it's all memorization. Um, it's just school teaches you how to memorize. That's it. I guess my practical in music failed the theory. Yep. There you go. There you go. 100% on the oral exam. Missed the theory exam by one point. I understand. I understand. Confirmed. I'd rather have coworkers that know how to find information themselves and take notes rather than someone who tests well but doesn't work or doesn't have the working skills Hello, that are relevant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Cavish, good to see you. I hope you enjoyed the new sub badge. Tuka, Tuka came in on a raid and immediately shouted out Dibby. Thank you, Dibby, for the raid. How's it going? It's good to see you. I hope you're well. Cavish, I hope you enjoy. I'm glad. Hi, Tuka, Beesh, Dan, Cypher, Sky, Rars, Dibby, everybody. How are you doing today? You were doing some more wonderful D&D stuff today, right? On your beautiful new project. Is it a lime tree? There, uh, That's a lime seedling sprouting out in two different ways. Um, Storm. Storm actually made them, and they are wonderful. We have all kinds of them. How's it going? Hi, Bernante. You're calling dibs on this wonderful stream. We love and appreciate Whoa, you. I love you. Awesome. No, I love and appreciate you more. Dibby is a fantastic human being, by the way. A wonderful gem of a human who does so many creative and wonderful, awesome things and supports all of their friends as well. Please be sure to go check out their stuff. And they've been doing an amazing project with D&D. They're on episode five of a wonderful, wonderful thing. You definitely need to go check this out. Shattered is Woo, a great, great Look at great me, time. Mom. I made I it. I'm, sure on I right. I'm on their channel now. Did I say it right? Was it Shattered? I'm pretty sure I remember it. My goodness. I am bird. I am bird. Cypher, thank you very much for subbing for nine months. Happy Twitch, baby. Oh, look at that. It's good to see you. Awesome. Perdente, happy six months. Hello. Oh, my God. Thank you guys very Woo. much for the resub. Look at me, Mom. Guys, I made I it. I'm on their that. channel now. Tuka, thank you for the host. Beach, thank you for the host. Sorry, I don't have my headphones on, so I, if I miss something, Woo. my bad. Look at it me, is Mom. Shattered. I made okay, it. Good. I'm on their channel now. I didn't think I forgot. Rox, <laughs> thank you for the host. Why are we just... No, you're not interrupting at all. That's okay. <laughs> you're totally good. I People just love pinging off the alert sometimes, too. My God. Dan, Sky, Cypher, Tomb, and Tuka are all a part of it as well. And they're doing a, an amazing job. Um, the VODs are saved on Dibby's YouTube. So please go check out what they're up to as well. Go follow the Twitch channel. Follow and subscribe to the YouTube. Go sub to the Twitch channel as Whoa, well. Tip, that. The, tip awesome. the poor guy. Oh my goodness. Not poor as so in poor in health, but you. poor because they deserve much more. My goodness. Sky, thank you very much for something for four months. What is happening? What is happening? You're all being very, very nice. I appreciate it. If you guys are wondering what we're up to, by the way, we're talking about all sorts of uh, stressors in school and how to avoid them. Um, hit a follow. Thank you very much, Cato. Enjoy. Toom. Hello. Love you lots, Dibby. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you bringing your your lovely folks over here. Your lovely folks and all of our lovely folks, honestly, because I, I recognize so many of the names, of course. Yeah, the latest follower name is... Uh, ooh, can't Whoa, tell if they're a bot. That. Can't awesome. tell if they're a bot, but who knows. Beesh, thank you for gifting us up to Dibby. Much appreciated. How you doing, Tomb? I hope things are going well. 
everybody, it's good to meet you. If you don't know me, I'm Lime. If you want to say hello, we would be happy to welcome you in. Otherwise, we will not disturb you. Uh, we are, have been talking about all kinds of bonkers stuff with Academia. Uh, I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Tomb. That's great. Kavish, hello. You're new here. New here with your obvious um, new six-month bash. <laughs> Much appreciated. Oh, my goodness. Very new, yes. Just as new as Goblin. The Goblin 1. I know that person is extremely new as well. Uh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going Whoa, to... Look at that. Oh, look at that. oh, oh shit. Clear. Thank you very much for someone to tier 3 for a 10th month. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Mega Lime. Whoa, look at the that. Mega Lime himself. Oh, Thank so... you. What instrument do you play? I play a load a load of them. <laughs> a large load of them in which that closet is filled with them over there. Um, but clarinet is the one that I have my degrees in right now. And I'm working on a third one for Chugga, oh no, is the thingy up? There is a thingy up, god damn it. Ducks, thank you very much for giving a sub to Tomb as well, I appreciate it. Clear, how you doing? What's going on? It's barely my six month badge. Well, it's still there. It's still there, Cavish. Ducks, I was doing that, oh my god. Guys, you're being too nice right now and I'm going to ignore the hype train thing. I'm going to ignore it, we're gonna leave it be because you're being sweet. But anyway, all that to say, sorry I'm scatterbrained. Uh, we've been having a very nice discussion mm -hmm. about all kinds of um, scary things, but also not, not too scary things. Freezeburn, thank you for the 100 bits. We can take a quick intermission if this makes it better um, to handle all this mess. Love you lots, Beesh! Beesh, you can unsub. It's weird to see you come in from her raid and not be able to get the sub. <laughs> or can you unsub, rather? Beesh, yeah, don't waste your money on me, okay? <laughs> it's not It's not worth it. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are dorks. Tuka, I hope you're having a wonderful day as well, you beautiful, beautiful man, you. Dibby, if you need to get off, by the way, and everybody who was a part of Shattered, by the way, literally all of you, Tuka Tomb, all of you, please, Sky, get some rest. <laughs> get some rest. Do not be feeling like you need to be hanging around here, okay? You've been doing wonderful stuff for the day, and we are happy to have you here to lurk if you want to relax to it, but of course, please do not <laughs> force yourself to stick out here, okay? Oh my goodness, what is that emote? Oh, okay, I don't think I've seen that one from you before, the Tomb Blush. I like that one. That's very cool. Okay, cool. There's a tiny little bit of an intermission for you. I don't know where to go from here. If anybody has anything that is just now joining that want... The, oh, 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 if I can speak, that'd be good. If there's anything that you guys want to share about your time in school and the stress that might have been caused by school, I would love to know about it. Um, get in on the conversation. We would love to have you, okay? Have a lurk because real life calls, that's okay. Take care, Cato. No worries. Being honest, being honest, Tomb, I like it a lot. You made it yourself, right? I recognized you, so I, I didn't have to. Oh, oh, you were talking to ducks. My bad. <laughs> I thought Tomb was complimenting me. I thought. I was wrong. I was incorrect. That's okay. Um, anything else on my list of stuff that I want to talk about, though? Because we are at about an hour and a half of having a pretty consistent conversation with it. Um, I've talked about most of, mostly my experiences uh, with the stress of being in a music degree. Um... Yeah, so anything else aside from that would be great to put into the conversation if you would want, but no pressure. I'm sorry, what? I like juggling their thingies. When did I say that? What? Oh my god, guys, what? The dodgeball game has new maps and stuff. There's lore? There's lore? I gotta play the dodgeball game again, sorry. I'm getting very distracted by this, but I want to play whatever the heck is happening with dodgeball. So if anybody wants to get back into, into um, Knockout City, Tell me. Tell me. We'll get into it. I really should practice juggling again. I can't even juggle like one thing. Rocks, play play, play game with me. Play game with me. I'm honestly thinking about going back to school. I need a new thing to do. Beesh, what would you go back for? Do you know? You extra cute light. No, you tomb. Thank you. I don't even know how to juggle. I need to juggle their thingies. Why, why would I say that? <laughs> I don't even know what I was playing. In. Oh, Hollow Knight. So I, I was probably bouncing off of somebody. Instead of juggling something. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I think I might be out of things that I can talk about in terms of my experiences at this point. Um, which is totally okay. Which is totally okay. Did the train thing end? Is it dead yet? We got a minute left. Oh my god. Let the train die. Can I just like end the train myself? That would be so horrible. No, I can't. Damn. If only they put that in. If I could just like turn off the train at one point. <laughs> That'd be really... That'd be really mean. I'd feel bad. You can try, but you won't be able to. Damn. I can juggle two things, but I'm not sure that counts. Is it qualified? It's juggling, right? You can juggle one thing, and that still counts. Twitch needs their money. Oh, look Fair. at that. Rocks. Awesome. Oh, 
How dare you? How dare you? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs, you dork. I love you very much. I appreciate you. Twitch got their money. Great. Oh my goodness gracious. Freedom, enjoy your badge and your emotes, dude. Welcome back for a second month. Oh my goodness. Rocks, gifted 10 subs to Space, Jesus, Bonnie, Nocturnal Design, Taco, Freedom Cripple, Chard the Red, Harvicus, Megastar, Ridley Rhyme, Jay Fusion. All fantastic names across there. All Whoa, fantastic names. Awesome. Thank you very, very much for that. Ducks, thank you for gifting us up to Zara as well. I appreciate it. Zara, we love you very much and are happy to have you here. Rocks, you dork, don't waste your money on me. We have had a very nice, very nice agreement among each other to not do it. Kyle, god damn it. You added a song to the queue. Now I gotta hook up my piano and do a music Whoa, stream. Oh, look at no, that. Kidding. Awesome. But Docs, no. Docs, thank you for gifting us up to the song list, bot. What the fuck? You don't have to do that. We haven't even had to use that for a while. You've laid low for a while. I thought we came to an agreement that I was like, good. Rox is saving her money and putting it elsewhere. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. I can handle it. It's fine. It's done and over with. Thank you very much for your kind generosity. I appreciate it. Always. Rocks is the reason I can pay my rent sometimes. <laughs> I swear to God, with the amount of fucking subs at this point. How many has Rocks given? 459. Yeah, that number still blows my fucking mind. My God. Clear's number somewhere up there, too. Both of them are way too kind of human beings. My God. Ryan, no you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm really happy to have you here. It's not often that we get someone really cool from a Mario Kart stream, I'm going to be honest, because Mario Kart streams usually are like the people who are, I only want to win, and I only want to fuck up the streamer and just make make them really mad, <laughs> and then I peace out and I never see them again. <laughs> so it's really cool to see you still sticking around, and I hope that you've been um, enjoying your stay whenever you do pop in. Rock's blushy. All the blushy. No you. No, Rox is very deserving of all the good things. I still need to get a Switch. Beesh, I hope someday you're able to, because I would love to play games with you, too. I need new games, but also I need to save money, because I... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to buy games for a while. I bought a new one with Kina, Bridge of Spirits, which I'm going to be playing again tomorrow, by the way. Um, I bought a new one with Kina, but I don't think I can afford to buy any more games for quite some time. I Being back to school means I really need to start using my money for the car being busted still, and, and the rent and everything, so um, that's going to be where my mindset is at instead. You got a new PC instead? No, that's okay. That's not, oops, that's great. Because that means I get to play PC games with you instead. New games for free money. Pokemon Unite's still there. I got to get into that and get really, really good ranked. Got to get really good ranked. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious, my eyes are like fogging up because for a second there, Rox did something very nice and my brain forgot how to handle that because... I haven't, I haven't had to deal with telling people not to spend their money on me in a bit, so I've been protected. My brain has like gone back down. Oh, imagine playing a game with Lime. I would love to play a game with Beesh. Beesh just has to ask. I need to know when Beesh is available. And I also have to be not going to school, which helps out a lot. Um, so sometime soon. Sometime soon would be good. Okay. Checking out the time. It has been an hour and 40. I did want to get to about to two hours before we stopped, but honestly, we can stop early and that's okay. Um, sometime soon. Oh, is there anything else you guys are looking forward to this week, though? We'll protect you. Thank you. Protect me. Protect me, Rox. I appreciate it. Um, I hope there's something that you guys are looking forward to coming up soon, though. I'm looking forward to... Hi, Gavish. What's up? Hello! What's up? And... I'm Thank guessing. You. What is it? <gasps> little Ginge! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid, Little Ginge. I appreciate it. Hope... Hello? Oh, okay. that... Gavish, I understand now. Thank you very much. Planet Zoo! Planet Zoo for Hope, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, guys. If you don't know me, feel free to say hello. We would be happy to welcome you in. Froggies! Hi, Lord. How's it going? Good to see you. Welcome in. How was the stream? How was the Planet Zoo today? Please tell me what's been going on. What did you work on? All the lovely people. Ging is awesome. Please go give her a follow, okay? She's fantastic and has a great, great stream and great community. Please go check out what's going on over there. Hello, I come from Raid and wasn't already here. You're new here. I've never seen you before. Becca, Whoa, hello, how's that. it going? Awesome. Thank you for gifting some little ginge. Oh my god, no, just let the train die. It's only got 10 seconds left. It's only got 10 seconds left. Let it die. I think Whoa, we're free. look at that. Ducks, awesome. ducks. Oh my god, no. Okay, is it safe? Oh god, it, it ended. <laughs> Jesus, I thought Ducks was almost going to push that over into another one. Fuck's sake. <laughs> ducks, thank you very much for gifting us up to Lord as well. Much appreciated. Please save your money. Becca, good to see you and your cute little frogs as well. 
I'm doing good, thank you. We built a beaver oh, beaver habitat. I've never heard that one. I'm stealing Hope's frog hat. Do it. Do it, Becca, you little sweetie. It's good to see you. I hope you're well. Thank you so much for those kind and generous gift subs, Ducks. I appreciate it very much. And thank you to everybody who gifted on that hype train. I really Whoa, appreciate it. Um, awesome. I've been ignoring the trains for quite some time because we haven't uh, had to worry about them in a bit. <laughs> That's okay, Luke. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day, friend. Thank you so much for the lurk. I hope FIFA went well. They released a DLC on Monday. Oh, nice. I wonder if that means that Bobo is going to want to be playing it again soon, too. Who knows? Who knows? Very, very cool. Beach is great. Also, all of those words. <laughs> all those words, Becca. Are you okay? You almost look like you typed TSG for a second there. I was going to say, I don't see TSG here at all. Who knows? Do you think I do this for train? No, that's true, Ducks. That's true. But thank you very much for gifting us up to Becca. Becca, enjoy your badge and your emotes as well. What's Becca up to? Becca's up to eight months? Holy shit. You guys are all so old. You got a new dog. TSG? No. TSG wouldn't be here. TSG's got better things to do. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Becca, no. You're being cute is what you're being. That's what you are. Okay. I don't know, guys. We were talking about, for those who want to know, which, by the way, please go follow Hope. Hope is a phenomenal human being. I, I don't know if I said that already, but I need to make sure to say it. Also, Hope, you do not have to stick around if you do not need to, uh, because you've got other stuff to do. That's totally great. No worries. I'm just rambling at this point. We've been having a discussion about stressors in academia and, and why school can be such an anxious time for anybody for any of the like 20 plus years that people end up having to do it. So um, if you have anything that you guys want to say about that topic, feel free. It's very broad, I know. So any thoughts on that are great. But I think we're pretty much rounding down uh, or winding down the conversation because uh, we've been going for almost two hours and it's harder to do the just chatting streams for that much when we don't have like significant stuff going on in the chat, you know? Um, there's only so much we can talk about, you know. Many anxiety in school, I know. That's why it's such an easy thing to talk about, I think, because there's just so much stress to talk about. Hope does science. Hope very smart. Very true. Hope is very intelligent. Hi, Drake. It's Uwu, you goof. Love you all, but I have to hide away. That's okay. No worries. Please get some good sleep, Lord. Thank you so much for dropping by on the raid. I appreciate it. Uwu! Take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest. Before I go... There you go. Just for you. Just for you. I do the science. I'm only anxiety and stress. You are not allowed to be any of those only. Not allowed. I will send all the love that I can to try to make you not as stressed. I will do what I can to help. Drake, I love you lots. How you doing? It's good to see you. My goodness. Aren't they Australian? Probably asleep. Who? Or TSG? I think TSG is Australian. I'm not actually entirely certain. I'm going to be honest. I, I only got to see TSG uh, a fair bit at Rosa streams, so therefore recently I haven't been able to because um, Rosa has been doing stuff on their own, of course. So, um, I don't know. Where else does TSG usually hang out? Anywhere, anyone know? <laughs> oh, damn it, Jinx. I think you're at college too? I am, yes. I am I'm very much at college. Um, I am I'm doing a doctorate right now and destroying my brain. Oh, Drake, is TSG really good friends with you, too? That doesn't surprise me at all. I don't know why I forget, like, simple things like that. Um, usually, I have in my brain, like, this really weird hierarchy. Not hierarchy. Kind of like... Oh, supporting. Thank you very much, Tux, for spending the points. I appreciate it. I got you. I typed in hope. Whoa, That's look not at that. it. Awesome. I typed in hope. There we go. Boop. There we go. Beach, thank you so much for getting us up to Drake. I appreciate it. Drake, enjoy your month. Eight badge as well? Oh my god, eight months. Big love and big support. My brain does a lot of sorting, right? It's like a file cabinet of sorts, where it puts people of different groups in into their own, like, filing, you know? So when I think of, like, Becca, I think of Rosa and Little Ginge and people down the line, or Ash, you know, and they all get put into a box somewhere. Cabbage is kind of somewhere in that box as well. Um... I think of rocks, I think of Katie Duck, I think of uh, Joe Person, I, I go down like a list. Like, everybody's in their own boxes. Goblin and DA are together with Ted and Comics and, and uh, Kirsty. you know. it's Everyone's in their own little folder. Drake is in the weird folder. Um, Drake, who's in your folder? Drake, no, Drake gets chucked into the Boba folder, pretty much. No, the Honeydew folder. Definitely the Honeydew folder. Um, there's a big set of folders of like the 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 big like explosive communities and, and with like simon and with boba and with mango and a couple other peoples they all are in their own cavish you're in the rosa box you're in the rosa box if i met you from a specific person's channel you're in their specific folder 
Um, yeah, if you if you want to know what box you're in, I can probably try to tell you. Just feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. Ryan's in the um, in the Mario Kart box. Same thing with Francis and uh, a couple other people. Gengar was in there as well. I'm in the Sass and Crass folder. Yeah, basically, it has to do with who you came in with or where I saw you first. You know, um, Greza is in the Andy folder. You know, there's a lot of people in the Andy folder. Boba box now. Yeah, Drake's pretty much in the Boba box. You're kind of like stuck between, you know, many people in the Rosa box. Yep. I'm trying to think of anybody else I know in the Rosa box. Purple, Purple has his own box now. Purple didn't before. I think Purple was in the Rosa box. Cop is the same way. Cop's got his own box. Yeah. So sometimes there's like overlap. People go into each other's boxes, which I mean, that sentence sounds a little bit funny, but oh well. Tommy's in like five billion box boxes. Mufu is in the Boba box. Millie is in the Boba box. Um, Purple, I guess, is technically in the Boba box, but has his own subfolder. Breezy is in the Rosa box, but Rosa's in the Breezy box. Like, I love that I'm just having this big conversation about people that you may not even know. Half these people. <laughs> I, ho I hope that's fine. <laughs> Ooh! For ducks, there you go. Can we build a box? We can build a box for it, yeah. One day I will be in a box. Beesh, you're in your own box. Beesh is in her own box, but also at the same time the Yogscast box as a whole, just because Beesh is very popular in the Yogscast, of course. Um, they'd love to hear they're in the same boxes. I would I would imagine, yeah. Cavish appears very much everywhere. Yogscast Beesh, yep. See? There you go. Always so impressive how many people you can keep track of like that. Kyle, it's it gets easier over time. I told you, memory is my thing. Um, Torb. Torb is a huge one, again, with the giant overlap. I think Tommy, Torb, and Cop as like a ton of overlap. Till. Till's got overlap, but at the same time, Till's probably in mostly OZs in my brain. But Boba's, of course, too. Disco's in there. So all the mods go in there. Oh my goodness. I like Kevin and Becca. They're both great. We sponsor the Yogscast, or used to anyway. Uh, I would sponsor them if I could, but they don't need a sponsor from me. God, imagine being known by anybody in the Yogscast. Could not be me. My God. I'm just flirting with Kevin Hope. Now, Becca, feel free. I, I wish... One thing I think would be really cool one day for chat is to have more conversations going on that are less to me and more to each other. My favorite thing is watching people like interact in my own chat and knowing I don't have to read those words out loud because they're talking to each other. I think that's very fun. Oh, the place you work for sponsors them? Oh, that's awesome. Do you guys ever give give like equipment to them and stuff like that? Super cool. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anybody else. You guys have any other questions about people in boxes? I'm trying to think about it now. Lemon's in his own box because I know Lemon. I knew Lemon first. Kyle's in my box. <laughs> I have my own box of very select people. <laughs> very select. Bink is in a boba box. Lemon and Lime are in one box. Yep. Lime's chat is so amazing, lovely, wonderful place. Because of you. Because people like you are here. Seriously. Without identifying ourselves, I think we're still in their Twitch box. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Don't 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 feel free to or Feel free to not push any further on that. Um, but that's awesome, dude. That's that's really, really cool. Lime, what if we shared a box? Kyle, we're already in the same box. Waffles. So if I had to pick people that are in my box, there's very few. There's very few. But Lemon and Kyle and Waffles are for sure in my box. Quinton's in there as well. Um, Bink, yeah, you're in a boba box. You're in a boba box. Don't tell boba, though. Um, anybody else that would be in my box specifically? hard to say that's pretty much that's pretty much about it like people who i know in real oh crim duh crim's in my box my god I'm dumb i'm dummy dumb i should have known uh flam percent would be in my box too but Ooh. probably wouldn't be happy about we being those kinds of convos with one another. we do have those kinds of it's convos with one another it's just usually done with bits oh well, yeah it hasn't At been done you say usually but it hasn't been done for quite some time so i've forgotten but thank you very much for the 300 bits sorry i i shouldn't read that out loud when you're also reading it aloud my bad Becca is amazing. That is true. Um, I do be away from Twitch a lot. I'd be a little poopy sometimes. No, Becca, that's totally okay. Take take a break from Twitch when you need to, all right? I have not been in anybody's chats, really, for like the last two months because of school, and I feel very sad about it, and I miss it, but at the same time, I got to do what's best for me, too. Line doesn't have the headphones. Yeah, so next time I see, if I do see bits pop up, I will not read out loud. Where do I box? Ducks, you are in the same box as Rox and, um, and, and Katie. Because you came in at a similar time, I'm pretty sure. Clear would be in that box as well. Like, pretty much a lot of the VIPs are, I think, in the same box just because you all came in at the same time and then got VIP'd at the same time, pretty much. Uh, 
think is lovely. That is true. The Vlam's a smart dude. Very cool to know him. The Vlam's a good dude. Yeah. Do you see him here? Is that why you're saying that? Where's the Vlam? I don't think I saw Favlam's name. Sorry if I missed him, but yeah, Favlam's a great dude. He's in his own box, though. He's in his own box with uh, with a couple other people. Um, hi, Boops. How's it going? What is the box thing? So you don't have to explain. Uh, we were talking about how I kind of have like a folder for in my brain sorted for like each person. You know, when I see a person on Twitch, I think of several other people, you know, and it has to do with where I met them on Twitch or um, how long they've been here. So I was talking, ooh, for example, I was talking about like, um, the easiest box for me is my box, which is lemon and, uh, Favlam, not Favlam, sorry. <laughs> lemon and Krim and Kyle and Waffles because they're people I know in real life, you know. But there's another box with Becca and Rosa and Kavish and all those people, uh, and Hope, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Hade. Hade is in the, uh, in the Kirsty box easily and the, and the Mario Kart box as well. Same thing with Liam. Liam's in the Mario Kart box. George is in the Andy box. See, I'm just like, I think of one person and I think of another. The moment I hit one, they're attached in my brain. They're linked to different people. Um, so they're all in their own own little boxes. I said folder first, but then everyone started saying box, so I started copying. Uh, but yeah, Hade is in that folder as well as Rossibo. And um, I'm trying to think, because I said Ted already and DA and Goblin, of course. Those are the obvious choices. Shower caps over there as well. Um, just so many people. Roscoe's in there too. Uh, there's a Redox box. A Redox folder would have Jay from Space in there as well. It would have Storm. Um, it would have probably some more overlap with a couple other people as well. Drake is Drake is there too. Um, Artafki and Joey. Lots of people. Jay, enjoy your lurk. Wise Wise is in that box as well. Hi Wise, how you doing? I'm glad it's just not... No, there's no way. Everyone has to think like this, right? Interesting. Where would you place me? Uh, oh, Goblin, I already said you, right? Yeah, Goblin, you you hands down have been in the Kirsty box the whole time. Because I met you through Ted and Kirsty and DA and all them. Like, you you are all very strongly linked together. Like, yeah. I got you about the box thing, yeah. Bink, you are very much in so many boxes, but the Boba box is just the first thing that pops into my brain. Too many people Whoa, in boxes. Get that. out. Where's my butt awesome. going? Oh, what the fuck? Becca, no, run. Beach, thank you for gifting us up to Wise. I appreciate it. We're building a box fort. Everyone's a part of the box fort. You're in your own boxes. Only problem is maybe some of the people who own the boxes don't really want to be involved. <laughs> it's interesting how many people we know from other places, yet we all hang out and chill and stuff. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. There are very specific boxes um, for people of all sorts of different sizes and variety, you know, but then there's overlap as well. Boops, you're in the sofa box, of course. Sofa's got her own box hands down and and like there are very distinct people i only see from sofa there's very people distinct people i see from goat Wiz and still gold and dapper dame like i'm thinking of so many people holy fuck guys hold on pause all the boxes form like a toy train true guys i haven't really been doing this for this long i really haven't last april or last may right may is when i got affiliate Last May. Not this past May, but the one before that. I haven't been doing this this long. But I, I, I have to stop and think sometimes. I know a lot of people now. <laughs> it's going to blow up my brain. I know a ton of people. Holy shit. I know a lot of people. Because every single person I'm saying about this and trying to sort in the boxes, you may be like, who the fuck are these people that they're saying? I don't know who they are. Um, but like... My brain is jumping from person to person to person. Like, I think of Cop, I think of Elk, I think of Till, I think of Disco. Like, it all just mixes together. You know, it's in the same thing as, like, if you have a Discord folder that is sorted for just Yogg's cast community chats, you know? You, you have, like, Barry and and all of the people down there, Honeydew and all of them, straight in the line. It's great. You know what to say about good content? Probably some things. I don't know. The Sofa Box is a good box to be in. I feel like going for 18-something months is a good chunk of time to invest in something. Has it been that long? Has it been that long? A year is 12 months, right? And then May to now. May to now. So May, <laughs> May, June, July, August. I can do months. September, October. So yeah, fuck. It has been 18 or so months. Wow. Amazing. Also for me, every single person in the box is a giant booth box. Okay, yep. I don't, I don't know why I don't think of the booth box very much. I think it's because I lurk in there more often. Um, 
There's a pet box as well. Pet is a very big box. Don't. Pet is a very big box. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Everyone ignore that. <laughs> ignore that I just said that. It's funny because a lot of those communities are from Lime Raids. Oh, you think so? What? Hold on. This is replying to Jin. I love going somewhere that's new to me and seeing people like Cav and instantly knowing it's a cool place. If we make the biggest fort <laughs> the fastest, the teacher will give us an apple. Yeah, there we go. See, competition at its finest again. Oh my god. I do know a lot of really good people, that's true. There's no people, only boxes and boxes. What the fuck? Boof box rolls off the tongue nicely, very well. Don't tell Boof about Boof box. <laughs> let, let Boof be uh, <laughs> unaware. Oh my god. It is cool though. It is amazing how many people you get to know and then see how they're all connected. I think it's really cool knowing in my own brain I might associate with someone from one like community. Like I associate with like Ref from Boba community, you know, but someone else might see Ref in like Purple's community and associate that way. Like it's it's all different for everybody. So my folders aren't going to be your folders. And I think that's really cool. Chat something. It'll say how many months you have been affiliate. Uh Oh, me? Boop. It's Ref OC community. Oh, see? Exactly. Everybody's a bit different. I rolled along in a couple of raids, ended up in a musician stream I'd never been to, and found two people from Yogg's chats there. You never know. And then that's kind of how the recommended works, though, too. It, it links people who are in same, similar chats as you, um, you know, in that sort of way. 17 months. My goodness gracious. That's a lot. I started getting into Twitch properly in December 2020. It's cool how many people I know and recognize. It's cool. That is amazing. That's amazing, Hope. I am amazed that it's been 17 months, honestly, because it feels like I just started yesterday. It is weird how many people I know I've been around for about two years, starting in Big Lid's community. I didn't get the Lydia box either. Damn. 17 is affiliate. Okay, so 18 approximately. Then on to all the rest. Bink, you have been flying through all of them, and everybody knows you, and I think that's amazing. That's a testament to how cool you are. Y'all are just in the line box, so if that's okay. That's totally fine, Kyle. No worries. Longer streaming, prob probably. Yeah, I did one month without being an affiliate, I think, like half a month. Bink is 10 out of 10. Bink is like 5 billion out of 10. True. Oh my goodness. So many boxes. So many boxes. I'm like looking at Discord now trying to decide if anybody is in specific boxes. I'm going to go down my Discord just in the Limespeak channel and see. Lobster's in my box too because I met Lobster through Whoa, here really. Whoa, look at that. Awesome. Lots of people in the Andy box though. Lurk, Stitch is in hey. the Andy box. Aw man's in the Mango box. I could literally... Oh, Lobster's right there. Gotta lurk the hay. Hey, you're a, you're a baby as well. You're a baby as well. My goodness gracious. Twitch baby, thank you so much again for nine months, dude. I really appreciate that a lot. Little Ginge, thank you for joining the Discord. We'll get you a roll. Now you should be able to see everything that, that is there. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Enjoy your lurk, though, dude. No worries. I hope you're doing good. Speaking of whom. Oh my god. Whose box am I in? You're in my box. Because I didn't know specifically where you came from. So I just, like... If I didn't know who you were before, and I didn't have anything to really, like, tether you to, you've been sorted into my box, so you're in there. Plus, you bully me a lot, so. Clear has some overlap into my mind for bullying as well. <laughs> but also, you're way too nice to me, too. Lobster's in a tank, true. Lobster needs a very big tank, so they stop bothering everybody else with the bottles. Hi, Ridley. How you doing? Good to see you. Enjoy your badge. Sofa. Sofa box. Sofa box is a big box as well. You gotta fit a whole sofa in there, but don't tell her I said that. Ridley, how you been? It's good to see you. Ducks, thank you for pinging the Discord. I appreciate it. If anybody does want to join, feel free, but no pressure. Uh, I'm literally just going down alphabetically in the list. Sorry, if this is boring for anybody, my apologies, but also I'm really interested in this now, so I'm just gonna go down the Discord list and see notable, notable people that I know immediately go in a box. I've been okay as well, Ridley. I hope that you've been doing even better soon. I can't box Tuka. He's not in every box. He mods most of them. I can box Tuka. I Whoa, can box no Tuka, way. yeah, that's true. Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're doing well. Feel free to say hello. We'd love to welcome you in, but no pressure. Uh, what's also funny is I originally came in here through Boba. Did you hate? I didn't know that was through Boba. You can box Sofa, yeah. Get on your boxing gloves. Get to it. Get to it. I'm just going to box Tuka. I'm not going to box Tuka. I'm just going to box Tuka, you know. Um, Kato is in the sassy box as well with rocks. Uh, let's see. Freeze Burn is also in the same exact box as well. Um, let's see. Anybody super that hits my box? Quality, quality individual is in mine as well. Um, Lime can box me any day. I'm on my way. I don't have any gloves though, so we're just gonna have to do it 
uh, outside of it. Shortest is in a mango box, but at this point, mango uh, has basically shoved themselves into my box as well. Can I create someone? Sure. Create whoever you want. Tycho's in the purple box. Wonder's in the purple box and the ped box. Weeders is in the redox box. Uh, Woody is in his own particular box. Oh, Lobster and Woody, I guess, are in their own box too. That's fair. Take care, little Ginge. Sleep well, Hope. I hope you have a wonderful rest, okay? Love you lots. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate the raid. It means a lot to me. Um, we have missed your community, and I hope that you have been having a wonderful time. Annie's in a boba box as well. Everyone say goodnight to, to Hope, and make sure that you go follow her as well. Thank you. We're almost done. We're going to wrap up in a minute, but I just want to finish off this thought of, of sticking people in the file cabinets, because I think it's hilarious. Free upgrade from a box to crate? Well, it's not a free upgrade to a box to crate, okay? You, you do have to pay for it. Not with money, of course. You just pay with your soul. You pay with your soul. Anyway. Thank you for the shout-out for a little ginge. Much appreciated. Night, night, night. Really? What are you doing awake, by the way, too? I actually don't... Maybe I don't know your time zone very well. I thought you were supposed to be sleeping. Hmm. Kagan's in their own box, and Erdenshire's in there, too, but I think the two of them would probably fit with Andy's as well. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else in here? Wait, Torb's in our Discord? I didn't know Torb was in our Discord. What the fuck? I thought I always make fun of Torb for not being in the Discord. <laughs> Shit. Things have been all a bit all over. That's okay. Ridley, look. What I'm about to say, no one's allowed to yell at me for. Okay? I'm just going to say it for the sake of empathizing with, R R with Ridley. No one is lo allowed to yell at me for what I'm about to say. I haven't slept <laughs> in like two days. <laughs> I haven't slept in like two days. <laughs> no one's allowed to say anything. So I completely understand where you're coming from if things are a bit out of the place for um, sleep, which is why I'm kind of like really having trouble with rambling lately. <laughs> but so I didn't sleep like two nights ago the whole night. And then last night, Potato Lord was like, yo, go to bed, get some rest. And I was like, I'll try. And I didn't sleep again. So I'm kind of going off of like 48 hours or so. <laughs> or more with um, not a lot of rest. I did have like one hour of like small rest, so there's a little bit in there, but I haven't slept and I hope to sleep tonight, um, but I hopefully I don't look horrible. I just feel like I sound horrible. I feel like I walking myself into sentences a lot that I just can't get out of, but thank you guys. I appreciate it. What do you mean? Of course, Woody shows up. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Good to see you. Thank you, Ridley. I appreciate the hug very much, and I hope that you get some good rest too. I know things are a bit all over the place. Good morning, Woody. Thank you very much, guys. I will sleep when I can, for sure. I've slept just been all over the place at weird hours. Oh, okay, I see. I thought you just meant, like, the stress is keeping you up or something like that, because I can understand that, too. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. I'm here, therefore, only a matter of time till Woody will be here. I see what you mean. Gotcha. Thank you, Hade. Get that out of here, Tuka. What are you talking about? Boxes. Woody's in his own box. Woody's in a box with lobster. And they're enjoying their time very much together. Kavish is probably trying to sneak into the box. Chef is in a weird mix of uh, of a ped and redox box. I'm almost done with the boxes. Don't worry. You're shaving your legs soon, Lucky. Melon is in their own box, but also really in the Kirsty box too. But also in the Shadow at Noon box. Lots of it. Kerbelly is very much in the ped and boba box. Um, if Kerbelly is still here, they can weigh in if he wants to weigh in. You look nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Void Walker at this point in multiple places, but I would probably put Void Walker in my box. I like Void. Shaved your face yesterday? I fa I did it today. I faced yesterday. What? I faced today. I feel good. It's good. Thank you, Bink. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tuka. What the fuck? Why are you all being nice? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop that. We're not. Why are we doing this? Why are we all being nice again? I thought we talked about this. You can only be nice to each other. You're not allowed to be nice to me. It's too nice. Okay. Anybody else in this list? I forgot Kirsty's in ours, too. Kirsty's very kind. <laughs> Kirsty is a very, very kind human being to be even in our Discord and just, like, <laughs> just vibing. I appreciate them very much. You're in lockdown. No. Hi, Val. Because nice, homie. You're all nice. That's why. Fuck. <laughs> Don't have access to the wax strips. Oh, okay. My goodness. Yeah, that would... That, ooh, painful, Woody. Lime, you're using new shampoo. You look great. Why is everyone being nice? Stop this mess. Val, 
How you doing, friend? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing good. Okay, I'm almost to the end of my long list of things. I really was looking for people who, like, jumped out at me. Um, but if you guys do want to know what box you go into, feel free to ask. We're nice because you're nice. It's true. It's very, very true. Anybody else that I missed? Mufu. I think I said Mufu, though. Mufu's in a ton of boxes as well. Um, Skelly is in the ped box. Evie is in... Oh, ooh. I don't know where Evie goes. Evie... I think Atuka, I think Evie, probably. I don't know where Evie goes, actually. They might get their own box because they're just way too talented. Fictional is in an Andy box as well. Frith is in a um, Bryony box. There's a lot of people in the Bryony box, by the way, that I haven't seen this whole time. Oh, my goodness. Hallie is in the the uh, Kaz box for me with Nico, which makes sense. Harvicus is in the Bryony box. Okay, anyway, I'm pretty much through it all. I'm pretty much through them all. I won't force anybody else to listen to me uh, having to carry on about this mess, but you get the whole point. Everybody's sorted into their own individual boxes, and I think that's fucking funny. I think it's a great way to sort everybody out in my mind. Um, but yes, you guys are way too nice. Thank you very much for the kindness. I appreciate it. Very nice. I feel like these boxes are, are like those neural network images. Yeah, it's just a mess of interconnections. But at the same time, I usually think of one person, like when I see a person's name, you know, very quickly. So Val, of course, I see and I think Beesh for obvious reasons. Um, Hade, I see and think Kirsty without even thinking about it at all, even though you came in here on a Boba one, you know. So if I were to not draw all the connections, it would be very specific um, sortings, you know. But if I took the time to actually be like, look at all this overlap, it would be very different. So glad to have seen everyone here today. Such a love and kind shipment of boxes. Yes. I'm very glad to have seen all of you, by the way. Let me take the time to say it's been a bit um, since we've been able to do things at the time that we used to be streaming at, like, consistently. Um, Tuesdays weren't a day that we usually do, and I've been very scared about the whole, like, re not rebranding, but um, doing streams on different days things. And now I have a concrete schedule with Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Um, all pretty much 4 p.m. EST, except for Friday at 9. And I've been really sad because I've, I've been worried that I have... I'm There's only so many people I can see at those times when people can make it work, of course. Uh, and I've missed a lot of people. Um, I haven't been able to see them in other Twitch chats to make up for it. That's my problem. Not that they're not here. It's that I can't see them elsewhere to round out. And I've seen a lot of people today that I haven't seen in a while. So let me take the time to say uh, it means a lot to me that you dropped by whether you were put in here from a raid or you came in on your own thank you very much for coming by i really appreciate it if you have been lurking the whole time as well thank you very much for being super supportive um it means more than you know trust me like i'm always so thankful for the lurks and i, I need to find ways to be more um open about it you know and mods thank you very much for all that you do in here it means a lot vips you do a lot to carry in with the raids as well um, it's just, you guys have done a lot to keep me wanting to do this, even though it's been frustrating making a change, you know, and seeing a, a big change is difficult, you know, um, but I'm very glad to be here and I'm very glad that you guys were here too. So we've, I've missed you very much and I hope to get to see you again sometime soon, but, um, today has meant a lot. Today has meant a lot. And also I just love doing the mental health chats, even if there isn't a whole lot going on with them. I love being able to just ramble about whatever. It just means a lot to me. Much love to you, Zara. I hope you are so very well. I appreciate you very much. I hope that you are just as well, too. Bye, Cavish, you handsome bean. Love you lots. Of Love you, Woody. Take care. Enjoy your bike ride and your shaving. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. Thank you for pinging the lurkers, ducks. We love them very much. It's very true. Okay. I will say, though, for the school thing, for the anxiety with that, we can always have time to talk about that another day. Um, and if there's ever anything that you want to talk about specifically in the Discord, feel free to use the mental health channels to do so. Um, I'm happy to listen. Or any of the channels work too. Lime Speak is just as good. Uh, and yeah, we need to sort out probably a couple more topics for mental health streams. I want to put more work into them and plan out like maybe like a goofy little slideshow or something that goes along with them in, in the future. But um, that's going to be happening again soon. Uh, and they'll likely be on the Tuesdays in place of the Mondays instead. Um, but yes, tomorrow we're playing Kina Bridge of Spirits. Friday we are playing something. I don't know what it is. What the fuck is it? Um, Kyle, I'm just going to answer your question out loud here while I'm thinking of it, by the way. Um, Wednesdays and Thursdays are probably 
the better day for weekdays. Saturdays and Sundays are probably fine any other time um, at night for me. Um, let's see. What was I going to look at? Is Kina tomorrow? Kina Bridge of Spirits is tomorrow for a bit at 4 p.m. Friday AM is going to be Getting Over It again, which is... Um, I'm going to forget how to play that game again. I still haven't beaten it. I still would like to beat it, so I might as well just do some morning suffering. And then Saturday is probably going to be some GeoGuessr and some Marbles, um, which will be a fun time to hang out with people. Maybe something else too, maybe Gardic Phone or something, depending on how we're feeling. Um, but we have to finish our streak. Our streak's at like 118 or whatever, and we need to make sure that we are ready to go um, and extend it. And by that I mean lose it on the first try. Lose it on the first try. I think that'll be very fun. It's morning suffering. I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Aren't you guys excited? You should be excited. Okay. Um, give me a second. I'm sorting out if I want to be done or not. I'm sorting out if I want to be done or not, because I'm not entirely certain how I'm... I'm feeling really good, which is why I don't really want to be done, but I need to see if I have enough time to go to rehearsal. I think I should probably... I should probably be done. That's what I should do. Okay. I'm going to go. That's okay. No worries. Good luck with the important things in the morning. I hope things go very, very well. Much love to you. You deserve all the love. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Stay safe as well. Get some wonderful rest. Um, I would love to visit somebody new. I would love to visit somebody new. If you guys could stick around for a raid, that would be awesome as we're wrapping up. I don't really know who we're going to see just yet, so it's going to take me a minute to figure that out. Um, but I would love to go visit somebody new because last time we met someone really cool. We met Riel. Riel. I'm really poor at saying that, um, but she is amazing. Her community is fantastic and honestly a very, very good mental health place to be. Uh, I'm going to give them a shout out as well because in case you just missed her stuff, she's fantastic. That should be... Yeah, that should be her. That should be her. So please go check out her channel in case you didn't see her when we um, shouted her out last time. Um, she is wonderful. Thanks for the stream. It was informative. I hope you guys got something from it. I hope it didn't just sound like I was ran rambling about school and all that, but um, it's it's always very therapeutic for me to talk through my ideas because academia is kind of messed up right now. It's, it's, a, it's a weird space, um, and I don't think we're doing as much for kids as we could be doing, but we're definitely not doing as much for young adults as well uh, who are trying to figure out very, very quickly what they want to do for the rest of their life. So there's a lot of factors to it. There's a lot to work on, and I would love to see someday a lot of these issues resolved you know that would be wonderful so that's the hope of talking about the topic in case you don't think about this stuff or you just wanted to vent some personal stuff about being in in school and that sort of thing um i don't know who to go see but they have to be somebody very very new but yes i'm going to shut this off i'm gonna kill that and i'm going to bring back a little bit of this very slowly. Strippin's playing Nickelodeon game. Yeah, Strippin's. Oh, that's what a new name. I've never heard that name before. Let's go see Strippin. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. I'm kind of scared of browsing just chatting streams, but I feel like we could do it. I feel like we could do it. Let's do it anyway. We could find some cool people through just chatting streams. Why not? Who knows? Just give me a minute while I get this all sorted out, though. So you've got time if you want to say anything else or, or um, bring up anything else while we're sorting it out I'm looking for somebody who wait can I change like a tag can I sort by ah let's do that let's add some tags can I add mental health to one maybe that'll help out a lot oh wow that actually sorted out things a lot very cool very cool oh cool if you search LGBTQ uh, IA plus and mental health as the two tags in live channels we actually pop up relatively at the top that is so neat. I love that a lot. Very, very cool. Okay, who can we go see? I enjoyed seeing all of you guys. Thank you so much. Tuka, love you lots. Thank you for sticking around after the raid as well from Dibby. I appreciate it. And also coming in here right off the bat and just kicking butt, doing the mod stuff. I gotta put this back on so I can actually hear the stuff. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Oh. The other music was still going. I was very confused. Am I in an ad? I'm in an ad. Get me out of this ad. This person looks really cool and I want to see what they're doing. Who is this? Oh, they're really cool, but at the same time, they're underage. So I, I don't think I can... Damn it. Ah. Yeah. 
Damn it, they're underage. They're 16, so we're not going to do that. I'm glad you dig this trek. I still like it a lot. It's one of my favorite things that I've, I've gotten from my friend. Um, thank you. I had to think of what their persona was, so I didn't say their actual name. Damn it, what a bummer. That person looks really cool. I'm really sad that we can't read them. Um, we, just, we have to be careful. We have to be careful with that sort of thing. No worries. Let's see. Sad Radish. What a name. What a name. Thank you guys for being patient on this. I appreciate it. If you could come over with the raid, it does mean a lot to me. Um, but of course, no pressure if you have to sprint out or anything like that. Who is this? Wait, are they going to bed? Shoot! I keep finding people who are, like, ending stream. <laughs> Don't end the stream. Don't end the stream. Okay, this person's from the UK. Ooh. An all-inclusive organization. Very, very good. Okay, this person seems awesome. There we go. Always puts me in a good and chill mood. Yay, I'm glad. 18 plus UK variety streamer whose goal is to spread as much love as possible, grow people's confidence in themselves and their own abilities. Please come hang out and let me look after you. Yes. Yes. Very, very good. Um, their name is Sad Radish. Wait, Aflaf. I know that name. I know Aflaf. Why do I know that name? Aflaf 1. I'm pretty sure they followed here before. Do we know who Sad Radish is? Does anybody know who that is? We're going to go see them. We're going to go see them. That's what we're going to do. Because they're doing some very chill chats right now. And I see a bunch of pictures of, like, cats and stuff right now. I'm not sure what they're up to. But um, I think possibly we might know someone over there. Because Aflaf... Oh, hello. Ignore that ad. I, I know Aflaf. Interesting. No, don't do it yet. Tuka. Ah, god damn it. Tuka. <laughs> I got to get it on my phone, you dork. I appreciate your your help with it every time, but I never get to the phone in time. <laughs> I have to open it up on my phone so I can um, copy it. Okay, there we go. You're so ahead of the game. <laughs> okay, very cool. Thank you guys very much for being a part. Oh my god, that terrified face. We're going to go give some love to Sad Radish, and hopefully they are doing well. I think it's late for them, um, but we're going to give them some, some very, very... What am I trying to say? Some lots of kindness. I don't know why I can come up with that. Thank you. Anyway, come over with us. Give some love. I will be back tomorrow at the same time as I was today. Probably maybe like 4.30 at the latest, so a half hour later. Um, but yes, it is late for them. We need to give them some love so they can get some extra sleep later, hopefully, and, and feel better. Um, raid. Sad. Radish. We'll make the sad radish a happy radish. She seems very, very sweet, though, and has a very nice voice, so we're going to go chill out for a little bit. Uh, if you could just give some love, and then, of course, if you need to take care of yourself, please feel free to do so. But first and foremost, let's just make sure we give them a very, very uh, nice hello and welcome them into their own stream. That's not what I meant. You know what I mean. But yes. Okay. As always, stay safe, beautiful, healthy, happy, all that good stuff. Thank you for a lovely, lovely conversation on the anxiety stuff. I think that was a wonderful time. I can't wait to do another mental health chat soon. We'll get a poll up about the next topic soon as well. And hopefully I see some of you guys tomorrow playing a relaxing game. Um, it's been super cool. I love that game a lot. Okay. Between you early end and took on the late end, you make a good team. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. All right. Take care, everybody. Be well. Sorry for not sleeping for 48 hours. I'm going to go Whoa, no probably way. do that today. Likely. Your name is awesome. Take care. Thank you for the follow. Bye.